hundred and thirty-two. We're live. Hey. Oh, oh Jesus. My Cyclops damage so that we you can't see my past <laughs> rolls. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, what about a Cyclops? Uh, there's no Cyclopses, but I, I oh have my a god. Don't worry about it, okay? It's fine. We're it's, live. Don't worry about it, all right? You're, you're making me feel really comfortable, Frosty. You're welcome. Uh, hello. Welcome. This is the land down under. <laughs> yes. Uh... On the last episode, uh, let's see, you went to the Adathian city of Broken Chain, met a lot of people. Uh, many of them were just saying some really ominous shit and had clearly been preparing for something down there. Uh, you learned a solid third of the population had evacuated into the plane of fire. You learned they were allying with dragons and shutting off their other trade routes. Uh, let's see. Uh, one of the people at the meeting had to leave their guard post and send you to take their place so they could attend the meeting. You took their place, you found a purple worm, you weakened it with arrows before Nesky cut clean through it from the inside. Woo. It's shrunken corpse. Uh, <laughs> shrunken shrunken corpse. corpse is still in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shrunken corpse is still in your bag, ready for reanimation. Not longer after your kill, your guild leader Zip teleported down and took you to the surface for a life or death drop with yep. no explanation. Yes, that is correct. Plot happened to you. <laughs> like, hello. This... I've decided to add a plot to your story. My God. And up here. My God. Uh, you met another guild member, uh, Yu Zhu, the enlarged blind human with a drow blade. And you met your client, a Goran named Kadia, who, seem, or who seemingly just remembered the world was supposed to end today. Together, you went to the abjuration tower of the monarchy, broke in, and are now under siege by the monarchy's police. You'll never take me alive, <laughs> copper! Oh, so that takes uh, us to this page. Hooray. Uh, on the left, that's a very crudely drawn side view. Uh, and, yeah, normal map stuff. Let me... Okay. Uh, I want to just take us back a moment before initiative, because I rushed and didn't describe some stuff I wanted to. Uh, with the perception checks you made back then, uh, to the north of the building on the street... You see a figure stumbling behind in or in behind the guards. It's a Tengu, like in complete disarray, having a very hard time balancing, feathers going in all directions, and she seems to be holding a bag open just a little bit. Uh, she takes off into the air, and a moment later, a dull thud tells you she landed on the roof above you, and you can hear more than one set of footsteps on the uh, the metal roof. To the south, on a rooftop nearby, you see Godfrey, the butler who is watching you with what looked like theater binoculars. Uh, he looks into the window, sighs deeply, and summons all of his <laughs> anime powers. He throws the knife at the window and jumps into the building, arriving just after the window breaks open. On arrival, he straightens himself out. Uh, he can't seem to see through the fog, but regardless of that, he says, Aneski, Bomar, Nari, is this actual terrorism this time, or another misunderstanding? Uh, I'm going to respond with... Uh, as I move to a different position, because he's probably going to throw the sound... Actually, no, I'm going to cast Ventriloquism and <laughs> have my voice appear in another part of the fog. Uh, <laughs> because <laughs> uh, uh, this sounds like a ploy. Not terrorism trying to save the city from a very close upcoming apocalypse. Hopefully we will minimize casualties. Okay, and then the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, roll a diplomacy check. Okay. Uh, go for it. I, it, I will It's assist. a bit of a long shot, yes. Let's uh, see if I can help. Through our powers combined. Oh, yes. I wish I had... Oh, no. That's really good. Just going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, helping. I'm helping and you two don't have diplomas or a ventriloquism so are you giving a sure. position for this alright sure sounds good Okay. alright oh uh the, the plate's finally ready god damn it uh, he seems to believe that you believe that uh yeah. he is not exactly oh, he like, just... he's not weapons drawn <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just lost you alright well 
Let's we'll miss uh, just you. wait, I suppose. Oh, Omar's <laughs> head is just... It's just, uh... Like he starts T-posing all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> it's just like in, uh... In Apex or any other multiplayer game, he just stops moving for a bit and then... Oh, he's, start, he's running and he just he's doesn't just stop and he's like... against a wall and he's just still running. And you're like, uh, Vomar? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Vomar has left the server. He took all the loot and left. That bastard. <laughs> I hope they add reconnects to Apex. That would be good. I mean, it works with the resources. No, but if you disconnect. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. But, like, the way they have a respawn system already, it seems like a a much more, like, less mm -hmm. abusable system than if it would just, like, pop you back well, in where you were. Well, if you pop back in as your body, if you are alive. Because that's uh, how PUBG yeah, worked. that would work, too. Or I think mm -hmm. you could, I think you could reconnect and just watch your team. Not sure. I haven't played that game for. I don't remember. Yeah. It's all Persona now. Oh. You know what's unfortunate? <laughs> all of the uh, uh, fan burst uh, apparently shut down, or it's no longer connected to Roll Twenty. So all of the music I had is gone. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't give us some like elevator music while That's we play. That sucks. All unsupported tracks. Boom. No more. No more list. I wonder. I think I learned why at some point, but it's whatever the reason is is lame. <laughs> oh, I can add sounds from my own. I can just. Okay, got to get my own elevator music playlist and add. Okay. Back. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, so you try your best to, to diplomatize, and Godfrey mm -hmm. doesn't look like he's about to attack or anything. Uh, hearing conversation, though, the uh, people on the roof take their opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, the windows to the northeast and northwest both break apart. Uh, as two people enter, the first figure is a kitsune with eight tails and a huge scythe. Oh, shit. Or to be more accurate, five of her. Uh, or no, it actually, how many of her? Jeez. Seven of her, hell yeah. That's annoying. Yikes. Yep. Uh, the other figure uh, is a elf covered in elegant tattoos wearing leather gloves that have very well-worn knuckles. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, from above a third window to the southeast, you hear the voice of presumably... The Tengu that says, I'm gonna be honest with Gaki, make it into the window. Yeah, I've had a <laughs> drink or two. I'm just going ahead and I'll help here from <laughs> if I can. I got some more alcohol. Diplomacy <laughs> check. I made Fuck. Diplomacy. Yeah, you and the <laughs> other uh the other drunk bird takes that as like, oh, you're rivals now. I oh, can no. be one drunk bird. <laughs> There can be only one sipping bird. Uh, the Katsune, who can see Godfrey, says, It's lucky the Chrome Cathedral headquarters are so nearby. This kind of attack can't be tolerated, don't you agree? The elf says, Surrender now and we'll go easy on you. No need to show the world just how outclassed you endless legacy dweebs are. And then the voice from above says, Wait, you don't forget the, the Goran seed? Oh, wait, you were being quiet and sneaky, weren't you? I can't tell with you at all. But get it. It's worth it's worth a bunch. <laughs> uh, all I do through my ventriloquism is I say, I do believe that this is a misunderstanding, and I will endeavor to be as non-lethal as possible. If you do okay. the same. <laughs> uh, I just want to mention, Katie is invisible, type it, typing yeah. away on a console right now. I cast uh, invisibility on them so they can uh, keep on doing what they need to do. Uh, Katie actually has invisibility of their own. Their ah, okay, good. Uh, with that, Godfrey says, nobody is taking anybody and I'm shutting down whatever it is you think you're doing and moves to oh, the console. That's initiative. <laughs> that's <laughs> initiative. 
And that's initiative. All right. I think oh, I if you have, have old initiative, I'd really prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I was going to say I have... Let me get the Cyclops damage off of the bar. We won't need that. I don't think. Let me get all my macros ready for this fight. You got all your own initiative. Ah, uh, good to know I'm rolling the same. I just rolled a one, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then I have... God, there's too many of... I need to write shorter names. At least we're names. in fog. Uh, yes. Uh, that's probably one of the only things stopping this Kitsune from just casting Dominate Person, which I think... Oh no, eight that, that would be Nine Tails. Oh, okay, they can do everything short of that. Exactly. Uh, I always wanted to look into that build more someday. Anyway. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me write these all down. So, uh, highest initiative would be the Kitsune. And then then hmm. the God I'm afraid for your positioning there, Ian. Then the uh, you could have repositioned in the fog. That's fair. Oh no, I I mean it it doesn't really matter. No, in case no, fireball like you? just the. Uh... If you are you saying we can reposition after they break through? Uh no, I mean like right now. Or, or before the fight happens, you guys are just kind of like, okay. I'm okay with the Cause repositioning. Cause I feel like the marshals are going to rush in. And so you might want to be not mm -hmm. between us and them. Ian. I'm practically oh, that's in true. the stairway. Yeah, you could be part way down the stairs, like uh, waist yeah. high cover or whatever. Yeah, I'm that's partly down the stairs. Okay. Because remember, the cloud is a 20 foot radius uh, awesome. up and down as well. Hopefully no one comes up the stairs. Cool. Yeah. We'll find out. If they do, it was inevitable. If anyone makes a break for it, then uh, you have your other guild ally. Oh, yeah. Uh, down, your giant, down there. giant sword down below. Uh, all right. I think that's initiative. So that's uh, Kitsune is going to uh, delay her turn. And then Godfrey is going to delay his turn. That brings us up to Vomar. Okay. Well, uh, I don't have the three rounds to poison this place. <laughs> Actually, do you? Uh, you would have. The uh, windows are now broken. Yeah, it would so affect the people in the room, though. Less effective? <laughs> do you want to so, gambit three round effort? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think, I don't think Hadia is uh, quite so immune to oh, right, right. the poisons as the rest. That's a good point. Oh, I know. I can escort. Weak, weakness, <laughs> weakness. Uh, so, <laughs> just throw your mask and then start. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, my my. I have the mask oh, that doesn't right. protect against it because I didn't <laughs> need it. Do. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you know what? I am going to start the day as every day should be started. Oh, good, haste. good plan. And then I'm going to like kind of hunker partially down the stairs so I can still see almost everything, but I have like chest high cover. Mm-hmm. Also, so I can try to listen for things coming from below. All right. And I say, try not to kill at least the butler. <laughs> roger, roger. And these, uh, these two introduce themselves as Chrome Cathedral, which is that other adventuring group that came up like once before very briefly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I, I vaguely remember. Yeah, good.
Also, let's see, how many how many of them are actually hmm? When we actually decide who to mess up, I can like lower their AC and saves by Could four, you haste so. here so that Kadia also gets tagged? Yep, uh <laughs> yep, Kadia's right. tagged. Hackerman, right. activate <laughs> High speed hacking going very fast. Uh all right, so haste and then is that it? Haste and hunker. <laughs> haste and hunker. Okay, uh, you shall be able to see that right. So uh, I actually, haste. I actually make it an extended haste just in case. Oh, did I forget the? Okay, I rolled. Did I roll much? Uh, okay. Okay, well... the elf was eleven. I forgot about that. Uh, all right. Well, are you haste and hunker, and Esky, it's it's you. Okay. Um. <sighs> To actually attack anyone, you're going to have to get out of the... Uh... Yeah, I don't know if I want to attack anyone yet, just However, yet, though. However, one thing you can do is cast a buff on yourself, like Mirror Image. Okay, yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. I could totally, i totally do that. Uh... So you get to roll 1d4 plus... Uh... I think just plus 2. Plus 2. You aren't as good <laughs> as a spellcaster. All right. Wow. Mirror image. Oh my god. Six. Holy shit. Okay. Two people with mirror image. So put a counter somewhere on yourself. <laughs> Write that down somewhere. When you step out and go into that blaze. It's not a blaze yet. It's an A. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, guys, you're going to have to uh, let me know if I need to do the whole poison power <laughs> gambit. Uh, with that, Anaski, is that your full turn? Uh, you can move within. Yeah, I'm thinking. Just mm -hmm. remember, if you actually move to like the outer part of the mist, someone outside the mist can see you. As yeah. long as you remain like within like a Smallest I'm going game. to like move here. Okay. All right. And then I'm good. Okay. It is now, finally, the elf's turn. Uh, the elf. So he takes a stance that is not quite as monk-like as one might expect. It's a bit more, uh, brutal, a bit more feral, a bit more barbaric, you might say. <laughs> And then she runs up to the edge of the mist, and she kicks it. Oh. Spell Sunder. Uh, uh, I don't think your cast level is 14, right? Uh, no, uh, so, uh, it, it gets nice. dispelled. Yeah, Bad for us, but still pretty cool. <laughs> and now the Kitsune uh, <laughs> takes her turn. And... You probably want to rage there. Uh... Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, rage. you're rage. <laughs> I raging. assume you raged before these people even yes. walked in. Uh... <laughs> Paul is screaming. Good. As it should be. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, without your clear cover anymore. Uh... Motherfucker, Actually, cover that was my obscuring mystering. Now, next I'm going to have to do something more drastic. Okay, actually, with the cover drawn, or cover down... I think uh, Godfrey acts a bit first and uh, throws a barrage of silverware. Uh, let let me take my. Da, da, da. Oh no, it's by the macro over here. One sec, this is gonna be great. Just one sec. Uh, so first one's gonna attack. One is a activate. This one will be a uh, elf. Trip. Ah, okay. Good thing Crit my major armor the, and disarm. Yep. Uh, a spoon goes flying at you and fails to to 
like hit your hand and paralyze Wait, it. Wait, he's attacking uh, other people? He's attacking everyone. He is saying like, hey, stop. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, that is not enough to get uh, anyone, but I think that's enough to hit Anaski. Great! Yes, uh, you have to roll 1d7 on a 1d8. Oh, that's hit. right. 1d7, uh, yeah. That's Damn. a 7. Okay. <laughs> but... uh, okay. The, uh, he throws a knife at you that mid-air just grows like grows massively this this tiny purple speckled knife grows into a great sword oh come and... on <laughs> hell yeah uh and hits you for let me see the damage uh did i not get okay crap i thought i had uh... this macro fix one second the damage is good uh other people decide what you're doing for your next turns once again don't worry, you're still healing seven hit points per uh, yeah, Isn't it the Kitsune next? I yeah. Thank it. <laughs> oh shit, it is the Kitsune next. Okay. Uh, it's been so long since I worked on the Godfrey sheet. Okay. Alright, 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 I'm good. Devastating cutlery. All right, the cutlery or this great Damn. sword hits you for thirty-six damage and then bounces back, landing at his feet. Uh, uh -huh. He is still in great sword form. Uh, it is now the Kitsune's turn. Kitsune is going to. Uh, Kitsune is going to cast confusion oh, shit. on Nari. Make a will save. Uh, confusion, I think, is actually an AOE. Is it now? That would be Nailed good it. Or bad. <laughs> All creatures in a 15 foot radius burst. Dang, okay. Uh, Aneski and Vomar also. Roll your wills. Okay, this is a spell, so I actually get an additional plus three. Mm hmm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, you're good. Uh, so I have a zero wisdom modifier. No, will. No, 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 don't worry. Uh, your, your save is, uh, when, when you're raging. Okay. Oh. Uh, is plus nine. Cool. Total or in addition to the base save? Oh. Total. Oh. Well, we're... I'm literally I know, fixing I know. that with the level 10. I'm just sad level. now because <laughs> it's so sad. All right, yeah. guys, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, no. At least <laughs> it's not dominate. That's not going to do it. Yeah, it's not dominate. You're just confused. Uh, so on your turn, we'll we'll roll a 100 and see what happens. <laughs> uh, the Kithuna also steps a bit further inwards. Uh, and with that, it is. I need to reorder this because people delayed. Uh, uh, Vomar, um, no, it's no, no, it's Nari. Nari first. Oh yeah, Nari, sir. Uh, and then okay, it's so yes. uh, I'm gonna say Vomar is gonna deal with that situation. So I'm going. Yeah, I don't like this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack that one. Is she within thirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're hasted. And mm -hmm. I'm fighting yeah. defensively. Oh, wait, she's a monk. And are you choosing non lethal? Or uh, non lethal. Not? Oh, wait, that'll lower my yeah, uh, two right. attack, won't it? How much does that penalize me? Uh, minus four. Does non lethal work in a different way of DR? Just asking for a friend doesn't relate to this. It'll still be uh... magic damage. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so I guess I can't fight defensively if I ever want to fucking hit them. So. One second. And again, she didn't seem like a monk. She seemed like a barbarian, and that's. Uh, DR, uh, the 
non-lethal, lethal, lethal d DR does the same. Okay, this is with oh. a minus four penalty. And I'm, I'm okay. gonna Those confirm, all try to confirm Everyone's that. Good. All right. Yep, that's uh, actually let me. Okay, two of those hit. I'm going to say the crit does as well because it's a crit. Wait, only two are hit. So, uh, the yeah, uh, you shoot your arrows and like it seems like you just shot, kind of like, like you hit her directly, but it just goes through hmm. her, and you hear a, a a laugh from the Kitsune. Uh. In your next shots, adjust a bit and are able to hit uh, where she actually is a few feet away. Displacement. No Displacement. perception roll to figure that out ahead of time? Okay. Mm, not that I know. It's a just a 50% like total cover. It's a 50% they don't even look blurry. on all attacks. Huh. Uh, she should, uh, the, they should look okay. a little blurry. Do they? Okay. I don't read that at all. Alright, that's fine. So only two hit? But the yes, crit two does. hits, and that's the okay. crit as well. And crit is times two. Uh, subject of the spell appears to be about two feet from its true location. Uh, this, there's nothing about like blurry. Oh, or okay, yeah, so. okay, fair enough. So technically, I'm just used to in second edition that you actually were just a blur in like a five foot square. Oh my god. Okay. So that's whew, two actual hits and that's yes. ice damage. Okay. Non lethal. Non lethal. Her her uh, uh ice resist three <laughs> is gonna really save her this time. <laughs> uh so she just takes the uh, she two would, damage. Yes, because she'd only get six resist off of it because it's only two attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Don't 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 don't. Ah, and she has to roll two fort saves. If she's still standing. Okay, let's roll those. She is still standing, despite all the reasons she shouldn't be. <laughs> or both good reasons she shouldn't be. Uh, fort saves, yeah, let's roll. Uh, 1d20 plus 14 even. Fails the second one. Uh, half speed. Alright. She's slow? Just around. Half speed, alright. Uh, that's good. It is now time for the plot to advance slightly oh, in no. the area around you. Oh, uh, boy. Outside, view is saying, okay, I get we're tense here, let's not do this. If I have to draw my sword, it's going to get very bad for, for you and me, okay? Uh, a very brave guard rushes her and is immediately <laughs> kicked in the face, falls on the ground. A few other guards begin to retrieve crossbows and take aim. Uh, you takes a few steps back towards the tower. Uh, and puts one hand on the handle of her sword while holding the other up, is just if to say, like, calm down, don't do this. Uh, and Riley, the captain guard, takes his turn deliberating on what command to give. Uh, it is now Vomar's turn. Uh, Vomar is feeling particularly uh, unhappy with the current situation. <laughs> <laughs> and... I, I have not used Dispel Magic in... <laughs> Pathfinder. <laughs> Let me read up on this. I just uh, wish Dispel was better. I, I, yeah. I feel like it should get a bonus or something more easily. Uh, I can't do area Dispel, so I'd have to choose one. Uh, if you just target a... Uh, if you're trying to dispel the mirror image... And you oh just no! Uh, and it works. Or are you trying to? I'm trying to make an esky not confused because that's ah. I think more important. Yeah, I can than, see that. Uh, letting her be confused. Although, actually, uh, <laughs> so so one part of confusion is that a confused creature will attack will always attack the creature that last attacked it. Okay. Uh, and so... Uh, Are you going to summon a horse to attack Nari? Or no. an Eski? Okay. Uh, actually, she's confused, but we haven't rolled to see what her confusion is. If I tell Kinetic Charge an Eski at someone, mm -hmm. uh, does she get an attack, or would we have to roll? Yeah, no, she gets an attack. Table? 
Okay. Well, uh, actually, no, I'm going to try to first cast Dispel Magic on her. So that is Oof. not enough. Okay, I try to cast Dispel Magic. It doesn't work, and I hunker further down the stairs. <laughs> <Okay>. Next <laughs> turn, I'm going to try to Salt Spray, but okay. All right, and ask you, I let's, really let's wish I had my familiar finish. here. All right, what am I rolling? I did it. Uh, oh. Attacks nearest. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, Vomar is further down the stairs than Nari. Uh, it's it's up to you. I am technically what, closer. Which one's nearest? I think. Uh, okay, yeah, especially then I guess. You, you have a clean target where it's Vomar would have concealment. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Well, let's see snake. if you can hit me. Let's, let's... You All probably right. can. Because I'm not Roll fighting defensively because I need to hit my targets. <laughs> cool. Um... It's a uh, one, one D20 plus Oh, I'm one getting D20. hit. Yeah. Well, don't no, say I'm that getting just hit. yet. I got hit. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not a crit. Oh, fuck. It's not if a crit. I... Is it that 17? If we weren't being kind to um, these fucks, I, she would miss. I hit twice, right? Oh, she only, you only have to attack near this creature. You don't have to full okay. attack. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, I feel a bit better now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, regardless of the result, Nari's pissed. Uh, well... Not at Aneski. And I'm saying, she's confused! God damn it. I'm trying to. Big damage. Oof. And of course, Paul is screaming. No one but Aneski can understand. It's, yes, kill <laughs> the bird person. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is the elf's turn. The elf is nervous about attacks of opportunity. So the elf is going to delay. It's Kitsune's turn. Kitsune is going to... Uh, Boy, what what would be the best op? I don't know. I think she's gonna take a swing at the uh, the confused person while her back is turned. Uh, Try to take her. I guess they don't know quite how tough she is. Wouldn't that be an Not attack quite, opportunity? Yeah. Yes. Well, start chipping away at those fucking images. So, uh, Aneski, you get an attack on her. She gets an attack on you. Both of you have a fuck ton of. Images. Yeah, okay. just all fighting images. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Okay. One D twenty plus twenty two. One D twenty plus twenty two. Uh, let's see. That is not a hit. It takes a. It definitely passes the AC. It's now at six images. <laughs> this uh, is stupid. And she's going to. I mean, she technically walked through two of your spaces, but I don't know if it works that way. Uh, I actually, I don't know if you can take multiple attacks of opportunity for like just like. I thought every, I thought every square was no. if you have combat reflexes. No, uh, no. Stupid thing didn't uh, hit the text and Need one more bracket. There we go. 25. I don't know if that hits. Uh, 25. Yes, that hits. Okay. And I can do. No, nope, do 1d6. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Gotta chip away. Uh, no, nope, not displacement. Uh, fucking confusion. No, that's. No. Nope, not confusion. That's the wrong roll. I have a mirror. No, just roll 1d6, because on that's how many images she has. Oh, no, uh, she has six. Seven. Oh, right. Wow, that second in a hits. row. What is happening? Your mirror images are <laughs> scam. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. Hit damage. That was a vital strike. And that's one hit. No crits. Take 23. Okay. Uh... Uh, Big Scythe seems to find you quite easily amongst the crowd. Uh, and that's that's that turn. 
Uh, Elf is now going to rush in, assuming you have no attacks of opportunity, but you still do. Yep. Uh, she rushes beside, and you can roll your attack of opportunity. So 1d20 plus 20. Okay. Uh, let's see if displacement saves him. Nope, that hits. Uh, she goes down, and she hits the ground pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was she at, on her last legs? Damn. Oh, definitely. You took... Damn, you I was so damage. close. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I just keep stealing your glory. That's my glory, you confused monster. <laughs> and that's key screams. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is now Godfrey's turn. Yes, yes. Uh, Godfrey is going to try more maneuvers to try and deal with this. Uh, more maneuvers. Some more effort. spoons. Okay. First one is going to be not an attack. Uh, it's going to be a disarm on a... Second one is also not an attack. It's going to be a... Gotta get her a locked gauntlet. Uh, rip. Any maneuver. Let's try to disarm. <laughs> Sorry. Trip. Omar. Fail on me. Okay. I get cover. <laughs> oh, yeah. But let me cover. see if the. Wait, uh, he can't CM... see you from there. Let me see what my CMD. He's in the stairwell. Uh. How deep in the stairwell? He could probably here. see, like, my oh, yeah. shoulders up. It's just... Okay. It's so, you enough. know what? With the cover? I, I Actually, tripping you doesn't make much sense because of the cover. <laughs> that's that's a fair point. Or maybe he throws a, a spoon or a knife or whatever. Yeah, and then just, just ricochets down the stairs. <laughs> Anime. And the oh, yeah. Uh, so, it turns out that because I have... Uh, because I have at least two cover, oh, I... Yeah. No, my CMD's 22. Dang, okay, you're fine. Get wrecked. Uh, Aneski, what is your... Your CMD is probably crazy because of your strength, right? My CMD is 30. It's 30, okay. Oof. Uh, you are tripped. God damn it. That's, that's the one advantage. The one oh, piece no. of good news. Godfrey, she's confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know she's confused. That's why I'm trying to make her stop attacking. Me. No, but now she's going to attack you. Okay, she's welcome to try. You do not seem to understand the power <laughs> we're dealing with here. Paul is livid. Uh, yeah. Well, she's on the ground. I'm all the way over here. I, I'm, I'm good. Such. Cunt. And she'll just stay on the ground if I have anything to say about it. Uh. <laughs> It is... Alright, Mr. Butler, you sound pretty confident, so this is gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, this is Go lethal. Okay. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. Yeah. Well, one round of... I don't know why I did it that way, but that's... Okay. The, the macro I picked. Uh, let's see. Uh, he manages to dodge all of those, except for... One of them, he grabs out of the air and throws Damn. it Damn. I don't know how that works exactly with your uh, soul arrows. I don't. But it yeah, looks sure. pretty fucking cool. <laughs> uh, wow, none of those So, uh, I do believe he was snatched from the air. Which attack did he snatch? Uh, the 30. That is actually Jesus. out of AC. I know, right? All right. Uh, I guess I hit... You're gonna need to well, use flanking and spells. Well, to the take thirty this misses out. me, so I guess I don't get hit. Or how does that work? Uh, let me. I think <laughs> I roll an attack from him, and then do your damage at you. No, I don't get hit Flesh unless shot. he hits me. So he has to throw. I know that's. Oh, okay. I'm rolling an attack. At it you would probably now. be my damage. Uh, that's a miss. Yeah, no, that doesn't hit. You're both just with the power <laughs> of anime. Not no one gets hit. Well, he has extremely high AC. Uh. And with that, it is plot time again. Uh, Riley gives an order, capture her, and begins to walk forwards with her big glass golem, uh, or with their big glass golem. Uh, Yuju at the base of the tower, 
grabs her sword handle and, and the drow scriptures that cover it just unwind and in an instant a gigantic 30 foot pitch black cloud consumes her and the area around uh, but you can see through it uh, and you <laughs> might wish you couldn't uh, 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 let's see. she is holding a sword a huge black katana the design is it's simple it's elegant it's just black there's no cross guard it's like it's it's a piece of art more than anything uh except for at one part about half the down the blade there are a number of insectoid limbs long narrow insectoid limbs that spring from the cross or spring from the blade and seem to writhe and and flail about with the minds of their own uh several nice. guards fire into the cloud they get nowhere close uh, one of the guards charges forward and the limbs instantly shift their target and pluck the eyes Oof. from the guard's head. Yeah. Uh, Riley is still in the cloud. The limbs unable to pierce the thick body of the golem, but, well, now they're fighting. Uh, and that's plot for that. Uh, it is now Glowmaster. Uh, salt spray ring. Okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, I yeah, I'm gonna just gonna salt spray ring. Uh, so let let me get my comfortable box <laughs> back. Safety box. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Vomar's no, dead. That that was the wrong tool. <laughs> That's the wrong tool. There you go. <laughs> All right, you have your safety box. Anything else? And I'm going to use my hasted movement to uh, and come out of the stairwell. And to come out of the stairwell there. and over here. All right. Uh, that it is Aneski's turn. Aneski, I believe you are still confused. Okay, so, so... roll the one d four and see what if she can choose how she acts. Am I rolling, or are you rolling, Frosty? Uh, I have the macro, okay. so I can roll. Go for it. Nice. Okay, you act normally. You so, cool. Uh, I'm going to hit this person who's uh, beside me here. You All can right. hit her from the ground. and will attack from care. the ground. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Does that... Uh... That will be a minus... She'll get a plus four to hit you, but you'll get like a minus two to attack her. Okay. Okay, so you're still rolling at 20. But you can instead choose, instead of a Fauchard or a Bardige. You should probably just like switch it to a great sword or something and just keep attacking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that affect my roll at all? Nope. Doesn't no, affect you to hit. Gotcha. Which is twenty two, it just will affect your damage. Uh and... you get three attacks. And that seventeen's a possible three Ooh. crit. <laughs> oh, should I con I will roll uh, yep. This is the confirm. Alright. It, uh, my other hits are at twenty. And uh, then... once at twenty. Uh, once at, it should be twenty-two, but but uh, minus so another two. one's at twenty-two and one's at seventeen. Okay, so twenty and fifteen then. Yes. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's roll the fifteen one. Okay. So What's our AC? A... Uh, AC is about uh, twenty-three. Oof. Close. Yeah. 23, so you are two hits. Uh, or no, one that crit. One hit. one hit, that's a crit. Okay. Uh, let me do the 1d7 for the mirror images. Okay, you turn a, a mirror image to nothing. Oh. But that's about all. Just a, a uh, you, also heal, you also heal seven hit points. Yes. Yeah, that too. Okay, with that, it is now Elf's turn. Elf is, Elf is down for the count. Uh, Kitsune's turn. Uh, Kitsune's gonna take some more scythe swings at you, I suppose? Uh, uh, it's a 20% uh, 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 scythe uh -oh. crit. Uh oh, that's a scythe. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, uh -oh. Uh, all of those have a 20% chance of missing because you're within five. Oh, and mirror miss. image, so that's a lot of yeah. So, try to okay. confirm that crit. Me... I mean, you you will. 
unless you crit yes. fail. One, two, three. Uh, of those three, okay, none of them hit anyways. So this oh. side. Oh god. All of them have enough uh, uh, attack to actually break your images. Wouldn't but the none displacement of them actually effect hit first? You. Or the concealment? Uh, the concealment. So, so you'd roll 1d5, and on a 1 you miss. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So. Alright, fair enough. 5, 5. Well, okay, no misses there. We tried. But yes, you're correct. We, we tried. Uh, I nearly had this person be, have their clones affected by displacement. But I don't think that's how that should work. So, I don't. Yeah, yeah I don't think that's how but that yes, would work at all. Dogs, yeah, it should <laughs> Because that's so much mischance. Oh my god. Uh, it is now Godfrey's turn. Godfrey is upset because there's a, a obstacle in the way of his vision. If there's a tantrum, uh, his turn is lost. Oh, it's best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's real mad. Uh, he is going to... Uh, what is writing in action? Is that a full round action? Uh, standard. Okay, standard to do that. He's going to move here and start beep boop pooping on this uh readying in action to uh do one one throw at anything he can see. Uh it is Okay. Nari's turn. Uh same thing. Try and again. Alright. Uh doing many sh He's flat footed because he can't see the source. Doing of the attack. many shot on oh, the no. third attack instead well, of the first attack. Okay, yes. So one is okay. a fail. Let me see if it's a confirmed fail. Nope, I would have. What? What is it? What is this? He is not very high up. Because he's all just dodging. He is not deflecting anything. Uh, so so the, those all. The second I mean... <laughs> one misses. Ow. So what's yeah. the AC? The first. Okay, the first, second, and third. Hit. Because the first. Uh, or the the, the first okay. third. Okay, so the hit. first one it just hits nothing special. He's uh, not, not going to grab body, it. No, or, or no, okay. the first one he catches. Yes, and then the rest. Okay, so hit. I get many shot on the third and regular fourth. So did I hit? I didn't hit him, right? I didn't hit him before. No, uh, the previous time. No. He's going to throw back. No. I don't think that hits you. Especially the... Okay. Now he's looking a bit more... Now his smug face is a little bit... Go less away! <laughs> and never come back! The plot moves forward once more. Uh, you know when the sun goes behind a cloud? It just sort of gets a little bit darker? Yeah. That, that sort of thing happens. Uh, but it's... It's weird, because today had been pretty much cloudless. Uh, you, you can't see the sky from within the dome, so you don't really know what that means, but uh, that, that's, that's what you can tell about that. Uh, Riley is badly losing their fight to Yuzhu, uh, despite the size advantage of the goal and the spells Riley is firing from within. Uh, the sword is not just nasty because it blinds everything in its cloud, but it seems to cut through the golem like it, it's nothing. The rest of the guards are looking skyward in confusion, actually, right now. Uh, it is Romar's turn. Okay. It is time for me to try to stop you from stopping us from <laughs> stopping this. <laughs> what a stupid sound. That was my favorite <laughs> thing this whole campaign. Uh, I'm going to cast invisibility on the console. <laughs> <laughs> can't press the keys if you can't see them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nesky will win whatever brawl she's in, but that console... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yep, he's kind of fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good turn. Uh, anything else? More hunkering, more running? 
Uh, I, you know what? I'm just going to be like kneeling down over here, just trying to keep a low profile while I, uh, perf yeah. All right. Uh, and I yell, I, I yell, please hurry up. I do believe it is happening. Okay. Uh, let's. Now, who's next? Uh, Aneski, it's all you. Okay, uh, roll me my, uh, confusion roll. How long does that last? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's one round per level, oh. so, like, oh, no. the combine rounds. Or, 1D. Where's my confusion? There's my confusion. Attack self, 1D8 plus strength mod. Ouch. Uh, roll 1D8 plus what? Your strength, strength mod, which is... Strength. Death. Plus ten. All right, let's crit against myself. You can't crit. You don't attack. You just. That's you not actually damage. that bad. Okay. You and you heal seven. No. So. Yeah. Yeah. So yep, fifty, and we're back to. Wait, no. Uh, all right, Elf is down. It's Katuna's turn. Uh, Kadia, in response to what Vomar was saying, it's like I'm going exactly as fast as I can, and the Katuna hears the invisible Goran. And goes running uh, out of the cloud, and with a big scythe out, uh, you get your attack of opportunity. With a big scythe running, gets ready to uh, strike down the the Goron and take its seed. Motherfucker! Uh, but they uh, trigger the uh, attack of opportunity from Godfrey, and let's see if uh, and, and Nasty, Godfrey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, D twenty. Plus 20, because I am still on the ground. Ah, god damn it. Uh, that, I mean, that is... No, that isn't quite easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but I could still uh, hit a duplicate, because it is not five less than her. Wait, wait what's her AC flat-footed? Uh, 20... Yeah. A uh, flat-footed? Oh, right, flat-footed. Uh, it is not that high. <laughs> I think it's like oh 14. well then you hit or maybe, I mean at least you're getting images. You yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, so oh yeah, I need to roll my mist is really good. One d six left. That hits an image. Images are running thin. Okay, uh, and then. The kid is going to... Uh, wait, was that... Okay, 33. It's going to hit Kadia in the... Oh, uh, Kadia has a 50% miss chance. Okay, it's going to take a swing very close to Kadia. Uh, and I think that's that. It's Godfrey's turn. Uh, Godfrey has no console to play with anymore. Uh, he does have a Kitsune with the side throwing shit. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely true. Uh, let's see. Uh, Godfrey's going to walk sort of into the fog a bit. Uh, no, through the fog. And fire on the Kitsune. Let's just see what a full attack against a Kitsune does for maneuvers. Uh... That strip. This arm. Uh, let's do another. Maybe, uh, what are some other good maneuvers? Just throw a bull uh, rush in there for good luck. Yeah, no. you, you could do a bull rush. You could do a dirty trick. No, Blind let's him. Do, let's just do a bunch of trips and disarms. And if they work then. Okay. The uh, Katsuna is on the ground and uh, <laughs> just on the ground. Uh, that is uh, Nari's turn. I'm not sure who to shoot at anymore. <laughs> uh, the Katsuna yeah, is an asshole. Wow. Nobody has flat footed. Fuck it. I mean, I don't know what that means. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm not fighting defense. The Katsuna's still at full health, not by fighting the way. defensively, but they're on the floor. That's a minus four to hit. Minus two. Uh, 
range, I think it's minus one. Ian? Do we know? Oh. For me shooting four. someone prone, is it minus two or four? Four, okay. Four. But flash uh, red, we'll see what happens. Like... I rolled poorly. Uh, let's see. How much of her AC is dex? Uh, most of it. Okay, so you're probably hitting. Yeah, you're hitting on all but the... No, it was 14, wasn't it? Yeah. That is that is all hits, I believe. Oh. Missed too strong. Well, it's lethal, but you know what? There's a lot of images, so it's probably fine. Yeah. Uh, just double checking. Okay. That's too far. Hop. So, four confirmed? Uh, let me... Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, do hits, the thing. Let so me I can do the rules first. Uh, so, actually, so that hits an image and breaks it. The next one yeah. would be a 1d4. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. So, that hits the first one hits an image. One then it would, be, would have been a 1d4. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you hit an image, then you hit another image, another image. Now it's down to two. <laughs> awesome. The last image. And then your last attack, there is one I do person. hit them. And, okay. And you hit one them. confirmed hit. I nearly rolled a 1d1. 19 yes. damage. Okay. <laughs> They're like, shit. They look around for their images for a second, like, hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And then the plot moves again. Uh, you'll hear a loud bang on the roof. Something pretty darn big just fell down hard. Uh, the drunk above's voice says, what the fuck was that? And uh, then you see just a massive clump of black sap already forming into a pink plant is just visibly falling past the window. Uh, it hits the ground and forms into a plant and runs at the guards immediately, unfurling huge vines. That's not good. Them. You can see out the window is that this isn't the only thing falling on the city. Uh, in the fight below, Riley's mech has been torn to shreds. Uh, the cockpit is broken wide open. Riley is crawling out of the cloud. Uh, one hand over their missing eye. Uh, Yuju just says, I'm really sorry. I know how much that sucks. I swear I'll pay to fix it. <laughs> Uh, at this point, Godfrey is looking around like he might get more value outside than stopping whatever this is, but he's also not convinced that this isn't you. Uh, let's roll one last, or let's go one last round of the initiative. Vomar. Okay, you see, I am not good, powerful enough to make plants rain from sky, but do you know what is? An apocalypse. So, huh? <laughs> This building could probably do that. I don't know. I'm not a wizard. I am. Is, I am telling where, you this building cannot. Okay, where's the wizard that's supposed to be? Where's Install Shield? What happened to Install Shield? Uh, currently unconscious. God fucking, okay. But not uh, dead. We <laughs> didn't kill I'm him. Because we're not evil. That's <laughs> what evil people would say, actually. did the right thing? I mean, that you're not evil because of the not being as evil as possible. Uh, 25, I'm I mean, gonna... I think he's convinced that you are trying <laughs> to do the right little. thing. Yes. Okay, okay so, yeah. uh, I am in an attempt to just, because Godfrey is currently confused, but the Kitsune wants to kill the Goran. Have the Kitsune roll a, roll a will save. Okay. Kitty is nice. laughter. And you can't miss. You know okay. which one you're targeting. That's perfect. Yeah, no, I, it, it, really it, it wouldn't okay. even matter. I can't yep. miss with this. They just have to roll a save. Okay. Uh, roll 1d. Plus. Oh, their will save is not very good there. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Insufficient. They're on the ground laughing. <laughs> okay. This isn't funny, you kids <laughs> and fuck. <laughs> I say, of course, no, after is... <laughs> I cause hideous laughter. No, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> uh, it is uh, Aneski's turn. You're still confused. Oh my god. Okay. 
Roll. Let's... Heal seven. Oh, no. You babble. What do I do? You babble. You just you start oh. doing mumble. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds something like uh Frothy Rage. Hotline bling. Okay. <laughs> Get a hotline bling. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It could only mean one thing. Okay, the elf remains on the ground. The Kitsune is laughing on the ground. Godfrey is uh, uh, getting ready to... What does Godfrey want to do at this point? I don't know. It's he's There's little... an invisible Goran that he might not know is over there. Uh, he kind of knows the location because the Kitsune attacked it and because he heard it speak. But, uh, I think I'll just... There's not much fight left here, so I'm going to just have the plot move up in the initiative a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, Kadia says uh, hey good luck with everything and sorry I won't be around to see how it shakes out and you hear the console just hit hard and then they are turned into plasma like a blinding white flash rises up for a moment in their shape and then vanishes entirely uh, do I know if do I know what just happened do I know if they're dead dead or not. Uh, they're pretty fucking... Well, I mean, Goron being Goron, if its seed was somewhere else, then maybe it's alive. You don't know, because that if their seed is elsewhere, then they're suffering from some pretty heavy, uh, heavy penalties, so it is hard to tell if they were doing that or not. Okay, well... Uh, so, th this flash, it carries out in a wave. Uh, the whole lawn just ignites. The, the grass turns to, to plasma, rises up and vanishes. Uh, the pink plant ignites. Uh, guards still in its grasp, but are just freed suddenly, if a little bit burned. Uh, the, uh, you know, the awakened tree mm -hmm. from the first session. If that's still in the city anywhere, it's it's it ignites. Uh, if uh, there are any Gorons still living here that haven't moved to Prometheus, those ignite. In an instant, every living plant in the city is vaporized. Yikes! And this wave carries out a good distance into the surrounding land. My cabbages! <laughs> no, those are dead. Those are rich. Well, once they stop being connected to the ground, they're, they're food. Uh, the dome you're in seems to strain with the effort of this. The roof starts to glow with heat and then starts to cool back down much, much later. Uh, no significant plant life. It's left to burn in the radius. The drunk is like, ow, 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 and then rolls <laughs> off the side uh, onto the bare dirt below. A big cup of beer following close behind them. Uh, and as you look outside, you can see the occasional black blob dropping, being incinerated midair, and then rising back hmm. up as vapor. The city's safe. Yay! You did it! Uh, is there literally nothing of the Goran left? Literally nothing. Uh, okay. I've Disintegrated. Yeah, I think there's... What equipment they had is still around, but hey, anything look, of little... their body is gone. <laughs> Yeah, there's your loot pile. Oh my, what's that? It's 15,000 gold. 50, you said 25,000 per person, like... you fucker. Okay, well, it's 10,000 <laughs> you already have from the, uh, what's it called? The Sam Saren Society that I just forgot to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, Godfrey says, okay, I get what you just did. But we have a lot of questions. Yeah, we can talk now. And, and the person sure... who knew the answers was the man who just evaporated. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure. And then he looks out the window. He sees Riley eyeless, like with the, the face of pure anger. And, and he turns back and says, yeah, you're, you're very much still under arrest. No, uh, I, I am not responsible for my, uh, my eye-plucking allies. Uh, meta game just a bit. You are entirely able to avoid being captured here, but that is the monarchy's. Uh, wish I was right about now to, to say, uh, I'm not. Fat chance, yeah. copper. <laughs> no one's catching me again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is the plan then? Uh I do. Uh, now, to be fair, Godfrey's the only one that knows that we are the ones that did this. Uh, I suppose so, yeah. Uh, I mean, other than the people you fought in here. 
Well, they get to be thrown <laughs> just, into the bay. You just I saw that pop in, just the crow man. <laughs> <laughs> Laying on the ground, yeah. My life is pain. Uh, there weren't any opportunities, but I, I could have made them do So I think the plan is that we kidnap the other, other adventurers. We, okay. We, like, knock them out. At least the two well, in the tower. We knock, we knock, knock out Godfrey. Out. Yeah, oh, we have to take okay. it out for right. So, knock... Okay. Excellent. Knock out Gottfried, and then we are going to go down... Uh, or we can... I'm probably going to yell at Buzu to uh, lay low, and we're getting the fuck out. Okay. Actually, Excellent. I'll tell Buzu to get up here. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Yeah. Okay. She. Uh, she well, obliges. Uh, effectively, d- does does Nari knock out Godfrey from the mist with him flat-footed? Um, I was getting good damage on him, so I mean, if you want to give me an yeah, actual turn or two, that's up to you. Uh, I would like to see how Ineski shakes out with this because uh, he is holding the sort of uh, the uh, like opposing Wait, sword to is? yours in life form as it is. Oh, uh, Godfrey is the uh, purple. Knight, Nari the wouldn't midair. allow a duel. She's not honorable. Okay, not a duel, but I would like Ineski to at least get a hit, so okay. I can say like, here you put your uh, a band on the thing. You you have defeated your enemy sword, etc. Okay. Uh, well, the thing I'm going to probably do first is go up to Ineski and try to touch her with a. Uh, with a protection against alignment that will allow her to make another save against the confusion. All right. That's a good idea. Make your save. All right. Yeah. It was plus nine. Plus nine. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that, that succeeds. You are no okay. longer confused. Um, all right. I'm just gonna... So that was Velmar and Eski. And then... Nari. Technically, you could actually take a five-foot step and just attack Gottfried from the midst. <laughs> five-foot <laughs> crawl. Godfrey from the midst. Bees dream. Oh, yeah. It's the time. The move action can Vomar pick up. He SD? can't physically. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Physically, yeah. It's like I guess he could shove her. There, so that's he could actually shove her. <laughs> oh, as a move action, I I, I effectively shove an Eski Thor. Okay, make a bull like, rush. Go again. get. <laughs> oh wait, you could telekinetically charge her. Right, right. If you hadn't done the break, <laughs> yeah. I already cast my spell. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, so... With that... With... Do I have enough time to stand up, or am I still on the ground? Uh, I'm going to let you stand up in the confusion okay. previously, because it's a bit anticlimactic. You laying on the ground, just... I mean, the swing. to be fair, she's noodle arms. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, full attack, or just one attack? Full attack. Okay. That second one hits. He's flat-footed. Uh, actually, flat Missed. Footed. Yeah, both it. Okay. Plus the last one is. You can do a non-lethal weapon to do this too, so we don't actually, just yeah, are you, God for you. Are you oh, doing like lethal or non-lethal? Uh, yeah, big ass oh, app. Right. She can choose a weapon that's inherently non-lethal. Mm-hmm. And then no penalty. Alright. That's Oh yeah, haste. You have three attacks. Uh, yeah, Damn. those all three hit. He really is dependent on dodge. Okay. <laughs> He's anime. Anime is dodging, not deflect. Can't be anime with bark skin on. Oh damn! Okay, nice. that puts him down. He's like 
looking back, oh, you'll never take, I'll never take you alive, you say. That's my speciality. And he grabs his, like, various knives and things from his pockets and then just, boom, <laughs> to the side of the head. <laughs> uh, you have successfully knocked out everyone else in the town. Into the bag. Into the bag. I'm not, but- I'm not taking Godfrey. He'll... But the other adventurers will dump them in a town and be like, here, be an adventurer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we won't even take their equipment. We'll just. I don't know about really? that. Really? Okay. Well, they can get more. They have guilds. <laughs> this is to excuse why we're getting money. Ah, true yeah, enough. Know. Fair enough. We. <laughs> <laughs> we, we rob them and li- wait. We'll just leave them in this tower. I Why don't know. Them? Uh, so you aren't on the ma- on the monarchy's bad list. But... Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Then we are good. taking Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> then we are okay. taking Godfrey. <laughs> and so I just want to clarify one thing: if your plan is to memory rip them, uh, the way you punish the other uh, Yadathian for, that would be great. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, but uh, this is useful <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay. So your bag of, uh, I guess, well, it's it's no longer got the old Yadathian in it. It's just uh, just four people in there right now, I think? I think I probably left those four people... No, we have like, them. ...in the Yadathian No, we still city. have them. We never said we took okay. them out. No, yeah, well, I think we still have them. them. Okay, yeah. so, we, so we, have, we have one shrunk, small-sized... <laughs> corpse of a All right. purple worm. And we have two bags, so if we need to, we can <laughs> distribute. We, we divvy them up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are they you're putting them in a poison bag like the other one? With the, yeah. Uh... We're, 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 they, they get sweep dream. Okay. The Katsune is like laughing as you're putting her into the bag like, <laughs> don't poison me. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> The worst thing. Uh, and I say, don't worry, you'll only have sweet dreams. <laughs> so you shove her the egg. <laughs> sweet dreams. That's what, a, that's what a murderer would say. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I haven't used an offensive spell yet. <laughs> not that, that's really not... not <laughs> that's really not inspiring confidence <laughs> in me. <laughs> okay. Don't oh, worry, yeah. I killed anyone directly. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. You have a bag full of more people now. We're collecting. Uh, do you want to take the? Do you want to take the bird? No. They didn't see us. Okay. I don't bird. even know if the bird really saw us. Yeah, I don't think the bird saw you exactly, but the other two seemed to know you were, uh, like, not. Or they seemed to know you were endless legacy without even needing to see you. So it's possible they they saw the more noticeable person you were traveling with. Because uh, she definitely made a public appearance. But we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, as you are leaving, she says, I'm going to make an opening for you, but I'm staying here. I need mean, These people deserve some answers, and I'm going to give them to them. Give I them their eyes out. back, too. Yeah, that's... we got to talk about that. That's yeah, pretty fucked up. I hate up. the sword so much. <laughs> uh, you know what? It is their fault for not having an extra eye like I do. This would find that too. <laughs> okay, everyone get close. I'm going to cast an invisibility sphere and we're going to walk <laughs> the fuck out. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we're the good uh, guys. So as as you're walking out, he was making a distraction as she says well, like just starts, I don't know, punching people or something. <laughs> I don't know. She put the sword is well away and not coming out to play again. Uh for the foreseeable future. But yes, they are distracted, and uh, you can make your escape from this exact <laughs> coordinate, anyways. Hooray! Hooray! What are we gonna do with all these bodies? <laughs> I don't know. I also want to mention, uh, not so much for these adventurers, but in general, uh, my rule about teleporting means even if they're in a bag of holding, if you're just teleporting constantly with them, eventually they're gonna start disappearing. Oh. To God knows where. Uh, not the first teleport you make, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so we shouldn't just drag them around. But don't worry. Yeah. With the kind of planar apocalypse we're about to have, uh, I can do everything I need in the Yadath city. 
right. Although we should probably go to the dwarf one first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go there. It's All safer right. there. Uh, he also would want to spend the night to, or, or do you want to just get out, get the the fuck out of the city and then? Uh, get or out of the actually, city, we take try to rest. go to our. We we can go to our guild headquarters oh. and see if Zip is available to. Yeah, shove we should probably talk to Zip. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, uh, last like you a... saw Zip teleported out from the city boundary. You're not sure if she's in the city at this point. Well, we'll, we'll still drop by the guild, maybe do some very last-minute shopping of supplies. <laughs> All with right. With our newfound wealth. Uh, yeah, there's no one of uh, particular... No one exactly knows who you well, are. We also have masks on. Uh, or and we are anyone who does is in the bag, is what I should be saying. You're holding the only witnesses to your crime. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Stop, thief. So yeah, uh, after getting a few blocks away from this uh, area, you're able to walk about the city pretty much freely. Uh, let's see. As you're escaping the city, you notice you're not the only ones in a rush. Uh, huge crowds are going towards the Duergar train station, trying to find a safer refuge somewhere that doesn't face the sky. Uh, but mostly it's just... So is the sky about... just like a giant tree now? No, no, no. What you are seeing, I forgot to describe the sky. Uh, as you look up for the first time in a while, uh, the, the sky is clear, there's no clouds in it, uh, but there are just these occasional black dots. Uh, and like it, it looks like Vanta Stone, really. Just up on the the sky itself. The, Ooh, the that, is not, uh, that is not happy or natural. No. Uh, uh, what was I going to... Uh, you can also see far, far away uh, the god shade is tall enough to be seen even from the monarchy, but uh, or the top branches are at least, and you can see just plumes of black vapors coming off of it as this gigantic pink tree uh, begins to die and give up its vapor into the the sky again. Yikes! Yikes! Uh, let's see. Um. So that's what's happening in that regard. The the black spots in the sky are growing, but it's not super fast. It's not like it's going to happen in the next hour. It's the whole sky will turn black maybe, you know, four days from now, not like tonight. So that's also, good... I think the dwarf city has a finger, and if there's only one thing that's going to change this, it is <laughs> fingers. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Okay. Uh, so yes, Someone yes, fingered yes. the sky. We might have to finger it back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. What else is going to happen? Uh, okay. As you're leaving the capital, you see uh, the Red Lance, or more accurately, her dragon, her being the tiniest little dot on top, uh, flying around the capital. Uh, the, the white and red lance have been flying around the, uh, the various roads trying to clear out the, the plants that have popped up and keep the roads safe for those evacuating back to the city. Uh, and, and you see the red worm, uh, it just gets blindsided from below. Uh, a great green worm rushes out of the small remaining forest and the two go twirling down. You see green kobolds riding on the green dragon and they starts to latch onto the red one as it's falling and they both hit the ground hard. Well, fuck. And then there's a worrying minute where you don't see anything. Hmm. And another. And then, finally, you see something. You see the red dragon flying upwards. And then the green one. Together. Hmm. No, not fighting. Together. And you don't see that little red dot on the dragon's back. Oh. There oh, is no. no rider anymore. I do believe that uh, we have a freed ventral dragon. Not again. <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry. Uh, I'm sure this time it will go better. You say better. that. Uh, as, okay. as you are getting out of the city, uh, would you go all the way to the boundary where the plants are starting to form? Or oh, no. You... Uh, we're going to our guild, and I'm buying oh, yeah, that's right. teleportation, and I'm going to <laughs> skip... The, trying to travel through like okay yeah I was gonna say land. you uh you level up like 
whenever you next take a rest. So if you want to go to your guild headquarters to rest, that sure. might be a better, uh, uh, more economical thing. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yay. It leveled up. Now use your level 10 sheets. Also, I thought I heard someone say, no, that's yeah, a cat. I think that was a cat. Yeah, that's okay, a cat. Okay, that was a cat. The cat's excited to level up. She actually wants her dinner. I'll be right back. <laughs> that's basically <laughs> leveling up for cats. Why don't we take a quick break then? Be back in a minute. Sure. Level 10. Well, Frosty, I see shit got real. <laughs> yep. That's my secret campaign recipe I'll definitely be using again sometime. Uh, you have like 10 sessions of figuring out who the hell your characters are and where you live. And then you put them in the apocalypse mode. Just make the whole world end. Easy peasy. A -a man is on the proud. All my saves are currently 10. That's kind of ludicrous. I am surprisingly stealthy. I just have a shit ton of skill points. That's really what this is. And my knowledge nature, I'm going to buff. Oh, yeah, now I need to put these people on a social map because they're in your bag. So, Frosty. Uh-huh. Does the guild have team in stock? Uh, I suppose it would. Probably. Like, you can find... Hmm. Like, just raw team. Uh, yeah, you're able to... The guild is basically empty at this point. Uh, there is a... Uh, you can find a room where uh, Zip used to make golems long ago, and uh, it has a bit of adamantine here and there. Okay. You're looking well, for... Oh, actually, I should be... there should be a cost. We'll just say it comes out of here. Yeah, we'll say... Yeah, it... because of... Sure. It works out. Yeah, it works out. So I effectively, Ineski gets 6,000 less gold to pay for the two. Uh, to the I'm two back. I'm just eating a cookie. All right. Okay, so. I just updated the size of the bag of prisoners. Now I need to do it again. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, don't worry, I'm going to get a portable hole soon. It can fit more people and ha doesn't have the unfortunate side effect of banishing all of them to some unknown plane of existence. Should something bad that's, happen. That's good. Now, if we put a portable hole in a bag of holding, that's where we create the planar rift. But mm -hmm. we just need to avoid doing that particular thing. Back to... Can... So, so uh, here with the not very high personnel. Uh, glad I made names for these people, though. So I could not have come up with them on the fly. Okay, we have the adamantine we're looking for. This lane is five. Your humanoid NPCs are just going to keep back. on getting bagged. <laughs> I need to make more of my NPCs uh, unlovable, just monsters, so that... Well, we're, like, we weren't trying to kill anyone there. If, if we were in, like, uh, <laughs> look, man, it's Nazis. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just kill them all. My cat has been fed. Uh, also... I am. Yay. We're missing Alexandra. I believe so. No, wait, she got her cookies, so she might be back. She's silent. Oh. I just Question finished one. my last cookie. Hooray. I'm here. Okay. Also, do they have a cracked, uh, opalescent white pyramid what? iron stone? <laughs> or, uh, no, I, I'm, you know what? I'm you should make that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> I have okay. a list for you, but that's later. Yeah. Yeah. So, Frosty, this is... It will make a weapon treated as martial instead of exotic. Okay. And so it will... So she can then use a falcata, which is an exotic weapon, as a martial. Hooray. And so when she doesn't need reach, she can have falcata stuff. All right. Which is 2d4... 2d4, and it has a 19 to 20 critical threat range times 3 crit. Dang. All right. So it becomes 17 to 20 times 3 crit. Okay. So I'm going to take you to actually the main map, because I've updated it a bit. Uh, these two maps are at different scales. One is the overland map. The other is the side map. They do not exactly like make that sense with one another, but this is how I am doing it. That's okay. Because we suddenly... So which map are we looking at? The world well map or the side map? I don't know. I think you're going to Prometheus right now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you take your rest... I should actually talk to... Or you take yeah. your rest in the guild, correct? Yep. Uh, there is a TV in the guild that's on, as there always is. Uh, and there is some... Like TV stuff going on. That's probably important. So I'm going to do that. And then sure. we'll move to the next thing. Uh, the first thing you see is a very official report. Uh, it's a news anchor looking person. Seems to be in shock. Standing in front of a, a desk that says the Monarchy Broadcast Association. Uh, and this reporter says, This afternoon, the God Shade started to give off black vapors and started to collapse. In turn, the sky began to grow black marks. These black marks rained the plant life down and attacked everything but each other, and can return over and over after death. The destruction is widespread already. Any civilians still outside the major cities are assumed dead. He sighs deeply as the bad news con continues. During this chaos, Indriad and Indriel were ambushed just outside the capital by the Green Dragon Frisiath. 
the Red Lance, Indriel Sunheart, is dead. And yes. Indriel, the Red Worm, has escaped the monarchy's bindings. The two dragons were last seen flying east, presumably back to the land of dragons. And then another sigh. That and sounds I wish that beyond was all. my pay grade. And, that, uh, and I wish that was all the grim news there was today. The crown of monarchs has chimed three times. Uh, our, our crown was built during the Curse of Empathy. It ties the life of the monarch to the life of the worst-off citizens. It has helped us build a fair and kind nation. It, it forces the monarch to be our caretaker and punishes them when they fail that duty. Monarch Vogak will be dead in ten days, uh, due to the surprise attack that has claimed so many lives. She is expected to choose an heir in these ten days. Our monarch was 25 years old and reigned for just four months. And the broadcast ends. Wow, that's pretty rough. Yikes. <laughs> that's pretty I'm... dark. <laughs> I think we might be the only ones who actually know what happened. I think we are. Uh, I do believe the rest of our guild probably went to other major cities and helped them we, not We should explode. probably... Can we get to Ascending? We probably need to talk to Zip. We probably do. Uh, uh, let me sleep for, you know, the, my two fucking hours, and I will get the right, I'll wander off. around and see if I can find anybody. <laughs> I found some adamantine, How? so that's good. What? Okay, sure. Uh, there was a golem oh. workshop. I, 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 I procured it, some adamantine. You know what? I think it's fine in a situation like this. Uh, I turned to Aneski. You are going to need to be more outfitted to deal with uh, with this. Also, I am now devising defoliation weapons. Defo uh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> plant fighting. Plant fighting. All right. <laughs> Sounds uh, good. And I'm also going to have to learn this. <laughs> oh, actually, there is one other person in, in the. Uh... Uh, is it our person. creepy fle flesh warper? No, your creepy flesh warper is back in uh, Prometheus right now. Uh, or near Prometheus, anyways. The person you see is uh, Cadia's zombie, who is still sitting at the table. Uh, oh, wait! I look. The zombie! The zombie is not living flesh, therefore it wasn't affected by the, huh. the wave. But we have a way of resurrecting the one person who knows what the fuck is going on. Very true. I point towards the zombie. I am going to have to get something of cyclical reincarnation. Same will go for you, I point towards uh, Nari. You need your wings back. I'm going to make you I don't know thing. what you're talking about, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why do... <laughs> like, you can actually see Volmar, like, physically in some pain as, like, just, I guess, parts of his grain are re regrowing and he's getting access back to knowledge that he once <laughs> knew. <laughs> oh, all the right. equations. <laughs> the spells. It all comes back to me now. Okay. Was I that much of a dick? <laughs> Uh, okay, you know what? If we're saying that you're remembering stuff, I'm going to give you something that you would have got when you came back to uh, Broken Chain anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember that uh, that before you lost your memory, the last thing you were doing was to warn anyone worth warning uh, mm -hmm. about this event. God uh, fucking damn it. I knew <laughs> this. This was happening. My past self, but just before I got picked, knew this. I do believe we have an apocalypse cult on our hands that goes around picking people who uh, knew this. But was why planned. pickaxes specifically <laughs> is my question. Well, probably not <laughs> only pickaxes. For me specifically, the assailant probably had a pickaxe. I do not believe that the pickaxe was, you know, everything. Are they that the pickaxe the... crew? <laughs> I like the assumption that. Despite the fact that you know you were building weapons, your first thought is, okay, it was because I knew about this apocalypse that I got brained. That's, it was unjust. Well, it's because it, it is the third law of adventuring that everything happens for a reason. Usually something <laughs> dumb. 
<laughs> oh, why um, why is this town having a sudden rat problem? Cultists in the sewers driving them out with undead. It's a dumb reason, but the rats don't like being around undead. It's a nerd. I believe in the god of stories. There's nerd of flow. Speaking <laughs> of the god of stories, you have those books from the Sam Sarn Society you haven't read in so long. Uh, oh. I will deal with you when I wake up. I have a spell that I can just touch the book and read it. <laughs> I'm going okay. to do that later. <laughs> all right. I, I assume you all just take your naps. Yeah. I take an angry nap. <laughs> you basically woke up, bought a worm, uh, saved the city, and then went to, back to having another nap. It's hard life. <laughs> you have been awake for like an hour and a half. You know top. what? I like that as a mechanical <laughs> thing of if you take your rest, you're good to go. Yeah. That is much faster than you need to just wait a wait day. Wait a day. Sorry. Just keep on waiting. Okay, oh, and also I'm going to have to go back down and prove to that that arrogant fuck of a Yadav that I was in fact competent. We did kill that thing! But uh, also... When when do we uh, do we know any desecrated temples nearby? Knowledge check. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, knowledge of the religion. <laughs> I mean, this guild with the bad shit it has dabbled in with Malgam and all that. There's probably a, a desecrated temple somewhere in the crypt below. It's an infinite space, so... Okay, I've tried to find a desecrated crypt so I can, <laughs> so I can make this bloody skeleton <laughs> work. Uh, <laughs> Just oh. take some onyx, take that. Uh, probably cast permanency, burn my gold to make the, sh the, the incredible shrinking worm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that I can uh, transport it as a goddamn scarf when I'm not using it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I like that. I know you rolled the one to find it, but I still want you to do it. <laughs> okay. Find the dilapidated temple deep below. Okay, I take a potion of gear serious wounds. I cast tears to, uh, I cast, I think, blood wine on it. It turns into a necromancy potion. I fucking smash it on the worm shove onyx and then like get up you lazy fuck we have work to do <laughs> animate dead i hope this isn't what you're gonna do All to right. me <laughs> no this is undead i'm going to make you actually young not just the cor that shambling sounds better. corpse uh, what do you want uh, yes uh, uh you are now to be fair you're going to have to die for this well aneski i guess you can finish the fucking <laughs> job can't you <laughs> and Eski looks kind of like confused and upset but Paul shrieks oh yeah you could heal right like you have that lens so I assume you've used that yeah. just to deal with the mild yeah, pain yeah we, we've healed we've healed down 20 health you just hold up the lens and somewhere miles away a giant uh, orb in a temple <laughs> underneath the earth starts spinning and shoots a ray out through the ground and no, I like to. Th uh, are we doing the ritual right now for that? Uh, uh, I don't I, know about your revive revivification. That's up to. It's up to you. Because effectively, if we do it now, it's I need to find a. You're paying for a scroll of sick. How much is that? Reincarnation. Uh, seeing how it's a level six druid spell. Scrolls with a five thousand GP cost that I can't just mm -hmm. you know wave away. Uh, it would actually be six thousand six hundred and fifty GP for effectively natural flight. So, yeah, okay. If we can find that in the city or in the wherever the fuck we are, uh, you're just in the well. I mean, the like the, the twisting skill. corridors and all that shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think a random <laughs> scroll of quite that specificity is just sitting around. But Well, no one else would use it when they found it. Like, why would I use this? I'll just keep it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, actually, uh, we, I actually well, want actually, to find two of these scrolls. One for oh. the Boran, whose who zombie we're definitely stealing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and technically, uh, if there was someone reincarnating, it would probably be Autumn. So, there would be someone. Sure. 
We what break into said? Autumn's room. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you see all those oh, funny no. pillows? The anime. Uh... Okay. Oh, so it costs uh, 7,500 gold to make the worm have a permanent shrink item spell on it. Which I think okay. is, you know, probably worth it. I just throw my fucking gold at it. And seeing how a purple worm has... how many? Did you say minus 6,000? Or 6,000 for the scroll? 6,650. Six, uh, it has 16 hit dice, that's 50 onyx per hit dice, that's 16 times 50, 750 plus 7,500, uh, plus, like, 300 for that potion. Okay, 8,550 to get the worm operational. Alright, alright. Okay. Purple worms, uh, skeleton scarf. <laughs> I'm, that's how I'm putting it on the leisure. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna wear this. <laughs> that's scarf. pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry okay. we're doing item stuff now, uh, but this is like the best point uh, to do it. Yeah, no. This is 100% great, and also I want to know what you've named this worm. Oh, we had a lot of ideas. Did you pick one, Ian? You had a lot of ideas. I don't know if we picked anything. It's up to Ian. I don't, I don't think so. we actually picked anything. That there was like a good Paul and Paul too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I... <laughs> Slinky. I might just want to name it something like Consequences. <laughs> so like, God. if you do not let us do this, you will face Consequences. <laughs> I can make the fun of just throw a giant expanding purple worm at people. That's pretty good. I do like Runavog Jr. 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 is my suggestion. <laughs> uh, uh, the name is still pending. I'm still too worked up about okay. the apocalypse. Okay. Gotcha. Um, all right. Uh, so, uh, I guess I can't really make my spell book currently all that. You don't have your familiar right with now. you either. We need to pick him up at some mm. point. <laughs> yeah, uh, Prometheus has more, like, it's an actual city at this point, I think. Like, there are vendors and shit. You should be able to get stuff there. Uh, and also, also, we're going to, uh, like, so when I wake up, I prepare. Two teleports and a fabricate. Nice. All right. Okay. Uh, so, is this you have spent your night or waking up? Well, I spend I spend like two hours and fifteen minutes. All right. Two hours sleeping, fifteen minutes preparing my book. Send. I I do have sending prepared. Actually, wait. Uh. One of the teleports has to be ascending. Okay. I cast Fabricate, and now Aneski has. Do you want me to? Do you want me to roll a, a craft check, or are you okay? Uh, with I, I assume your craft that? skill is bonkers, so I don't need to. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I assume you are appropriately min max to craft. Uh, so Aneski, you now have adamantine full plate and adamantine weapon. Hooray! All right. Uh, also, you took down uh, what's his face, Godfrey. Uh, you took down Godfrey, who had the purple knife or, or the, the blade of destiny. I want to say, and yours is fate. Who cares? They're the same. Uh, so your weapon is now no longer just green; it's green with a like yellow spiral across it. Cool. Uh, indicating your one victory. Did the other one just disappear when we tried oh, to No, the get other to one it? is... Uh, oh, actually, I think it was still on the ground. Uh, we're we, gonna... I would have... We would have... We're, we're looting... You're technically, looting? we're trying to not loot Godfrey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're trying we're... not to loot Godfrey. It's also very hard to pick up, as you have... Or if you already have the other one. 
because you are not fated to fight one another, as far as I know, anyway. I'm pretty sure no, Inesuke's really gonna kill Nari, so... <laughs> no, so the other one, yeah. The, the fight me, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, so if you tried to grab it, it just kind of, like, the handle would retract, or it would uh, turn small and then big. And <laughs> uh, eventually, it would get... It would delay a long time or start to damage you hmm. as it fought back. Uh, neither of which thing I think you wanted at that time. So that's my justification that's for fine. not having that in your inventory right now. Cool. All right. Uh, so who are we sending and where are we teleporting? Because that's uh, the main zip, thing we're doing I would think, doing and today. to Prometheus. All what right. do we want to ask Zip? Uh, we're where we're going. Zip. Like, <laughs> we saved the monarchy what's the next big thing you need help with we'll be in prometheus sure and i then, suppose and then broken chain because we still have uh we know about broken chain. what's happening oh like because you know you know more about what's familiar. happening than maybe even sip yes i want to say like that memory again i think and got the slightly different impression of what I was trying to say, and that can be fine for what Vomar believes is happening, but I don't want it to go too long under that assumption. Okay. It is not someone changing the sky with a, a finger creation. Your memory was of, or, or Katia's memory, I guess, was of uh, during the quiet, when, when this happened on its own before, uh, finding and defeating the god shade by just breaking it and turning it into a regular tree. That, that is what the memory should have been conveying, but I don't think... Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So, someone made the god shade into a regular tree, and... To defeat it last the... time. Yeah. Oh, so the last time this apocalypse happened. Yeah. So that's the, the quiet. The event before when most life was wiped out, and then it started up again at about year 2000, or year zero. And now it's oh, okay. 2000 again. Oh no, Y two K. Y two K. Actually, so uh, I guess I'm okay, guys. Uh, I do believe we're going to have to kill a tree. <laughs> that's kind of hmm. weird, but that's fine. Have I prepared enough explosive <laughs> runes? <laughs> no, uh, scale does not work <laughs> for that. We should probably get going regardless. Green slime? Ah, uh, fine. Uh, I, I do do a sending to... Uh, I take the ten minutes. I do a sending to Zip. Effectively saying... S activated the shield on the main city. Buzu likely still in trouble. Going to Prometheus... What are your orders? Uh, the sending you get back is... Uh, no orders from me, or... It's like a pause, which I don't think counts as a word, but it's I a pause. It's a word. Uh, just go save the world, <laughs> I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'll be gone for the next bit. I didn't expect Zip to be a coward. Okay. I don't think Zip is a coward. I think Zip is yeah, just maybe. very busy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you're leaving yeah. to Prometheus then? Yep. So uh, like you get, uh, before you leave, you get one uh, vision on the, or one more memory on the TV comes up. And it's a, uh, it's not like a news report like the previous one. It's more like a found footage video. There's a, uh, on TV, a young half, uh, half-orc woman. Uh, the memory is kind of blurry, like, losing focus here and there, like the recorder of the memory isn't a pro. Mm -hmm. uh, this young orc is wearing a, a classless t-shirt that's covered in crumbs and stains. Uh, looks kind of like a university student sort of thing. Uh, it, it's an odd mix with her frantic, serious tone. She seems to be standing on an elevator in the orcish spire, uh, probably the spire of hell. 
she says, "Hi, I'm I'm Sandy. I'm a I'm a student at the White Spittle University. And what, what's happening here? This is my this is what my thesis project was about. I study planar geometry and the, that uh, what would happen if the planes turn inside out. And this is that the sky, the outer planes that's going to end up inside the vent, the vent stone stuff underground. The inner planes it's going to end up outside. It's a planar inversion, and it's happening. And I don't know how long it'll take, and I don't know how long it'll last. And evacuating to where right okay i don't think the planes themselves are being affected They're just the routes into them the paths are moving but right now you can still get out of here surviving the material plane is a gamble at least we know the dangers of the other planes i don't know sure for sure what's safer but it's it's an option sending out and the memory ends there's a lot to unpack in that memory but there's one other takeaway uh Aneski, you recognize that orc was excited. Oh. oh no. She's collecting. Well, we know where she is right now. I uh, suppose you do. <laughs> we do. Well, are we going to the orc place and are we then. We have at least four people that I need. Four, four of our prisoners <laughs> can be dealt with in Prometheus via planar binding. And the finger, aka the the Samsarn Society. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do that. I want to start getting prisoners <laughs> out of our bags <laughs> instead of adding to them. I could see that. We should probably try to recruit the others to help Prometheus. Also, the method you're talking about wouldn't really work with uh, Xena because you'd have to lose an Eski. Yeah, we aren't doing that. No, it's the other people. So, are yeah, we? The other I turn to an Aneski and I say, "Do you want to get in that?" I kind of point in the vague direction of the TV with Oxena. Or do you want to deal with uh, what we already have? Because I will help you either way. <clears throat> I will just have to keep sleeping and teleporting. That's what I do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I can actually teleport now. Oh. It feels so liberating. Okay, I think she would want to deal with what we're dealing with right now first. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think she's. Not that she's mad at her creator. So it's not like it's too much of a personal grudge thing at the moment. So she's okay with putting that off. Hey, if we're that lucky, much. she gets killed okay. by something out there. Well, that's then she'll true. reincarnate again, and then we'll oh, have to start the whole thing. Yeah. Actually, no, she won't. If she's dead, then Aneski is the one reincarnated. Yeah, I thought that was the way it worked. <laughs> we, so we oh, want to kill okay, well. that one. <laughs> yeah, if you want Aneski to be unkillable. Yeah. And extended to be the Get one fucked. stuck in hell forever. <laughs> and then well, later. They are in the hell spire. They're already halfway there. Let us go to, <laughs> to Prometheus. <laughs> and then a thousand years later, they're going to break up. And they're going to be like, oh, I just, there must be some sort of tyrant that, that trapped me in the plane of hell. That was my past life. And I'm going <laughs> to. Next campaign. Next campaign. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, you are able to leave the city towards Prometheus. We teleport. You teleport. From the... Uh, not from the <laughs> guild, but outside. From the outskirts of town, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, you teleport to the border of Prometheus uh, uh, on the surface side, I assume. Mm -hmm. uh, you see greenhouses that are once again in pieces, and hanging in the air far above is a massive flickering illusion that says refuge in common dwarven giant huh. and goblin uh, a group of tribal giants are also en route uh, coming in at a bit of a different angle than you are they're kind of sickly looking not exactly grandstanding warriors uh, and there are a few times that plants get close to these giants or to you only to be shot down from the church that stands beside hmm. the stair downwards uh, getting closer you see the church is modified to give more advantages for archers the hurried work of symphony probably Lens stands on the top spire, calling out targets with detailed descriptions and the soul-forged following suit. Uh, there are about 
two dozen soul parts on this church, uh, including the ones that yeah. Tony trained. You get them! Yeah. Uh, Jade is talking to uh, yeah Jade White Arch, uh, the dwarf lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is talking with another group of survivors, uh, a gnome, an orc, a feral goblin, a halfling, and a talking <laughs> spider. Uh, she stares them down, axe in hand, uh, but eventually lets them through, just a moment before you arrive. Uh, she says, Not that I'm unhappy to see you here, but what the hell are you doing here? I thought you were with my brother way down. Uh, he is currently safely in Broken Chain. That is our next stop. I look at the two of my companions with, like, very expectant. <laughs> like, after we're done with this, I because uh, my familiar is down there, and I do not abandon him. We'll get there. <laughs> Except when I do. He's safe. Uh, it's safe. It's a rock, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the Soul Forge looks offended, or thinks they're offended by that, but they're not sure. They don't hey, you got a soul, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh so uh what we are going to do is uh we need to get in and I need to uh prepare some summoning circles and we're going to handle one situation and then help you with your apocalypse <laughs> now. Hmm? Yeah, that's uh, handle the apocalypse that sounds good. You're going to try and summon from downstairs. It will be uh, just a bit easier from well, actually, the surface is kind of dangerous. You do what you want, but... Yes, uh, I will summon from just... Just uh, from the stairway. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All God right. damn it. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. So are you just summoning right there, or are you going down first, or what's your plan? Okay. So I've already used a teleport, my fabricate, and my sending. So I'm like, to actually do the summons, I will need to rest. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stand okay. up on. Uh, so I'm gonna you be guys... on the, the arch with everybody else shooting things. Okay, right, the, uh, I'm going to find spider... a nice little nook. <laughs> yeah. The spider that was going down says, uh, "If summoning is your business, the uh, inn at the top of the mountains over there, that would be a pretty good place to start." Although there are already summoning circles there, you can call what you need. Oh, my old yeah. master got in a bit of trouble for summoning there, but hey, you do you. I don't judge. I do not fundamentally believe that uh, anyone's going to care <laughs> right now. Would um, that mean you wouldn't have to rest? <laughs> uh, well, that would mean you wouldn't have to rest. It is a bit of a distance, but it's not like super far. Is it longer than two hours? How much is a bit of a distance? Uh, it's... Would it be longer than two hours? Oh, I think then. it's probably longer than two hours. <laughs> okay, well... It would be interesting for the plot, but it is not actually efficient, so don't worry about it. Uh, no, as in, like, I can... If I rest for two hours, we can do overland flight, get there, and then I'll have my teleport ready for when we want to go to the next thing. Okay. Fair enough. So, okay. Got a planer. Uh, uh, so we don't need to do the planer binding thing there. So it'd be overland. And I'm actually just going to have two teleports because it seems like we need it. Actually, it might be time for us to drop the adventures off, like the... Uh, I was thinking... Mr. No, Mr. Butler. I was thinking we could other... um, oh, we could try to recruit them to protect Prometheus. At least the adventurers. Godfrey obviously would want to go back home, but we're like, hey, and shrug at him. Like, what's he going to do? Fight no, us in our own every... city? That would be stupid. And we can probably talk it out. Especially, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he probably still wants to arrest us, but if we're surrounded by allies, he's probably not going to. Yeah, that is a fair point. So, yeah, we're actually dealing with all the prisoners. <laughs> the right bags now. are so light. <laughs> dump out. Okay, uh, I guess so... we dump out. Some actually, yeah. While you're resting, and... while you're resting, we can. 
we yeah, can well, do all that stuff with the help of the uh, the other soul forged. <laughs> all right. Uh, I I just find a goddamn corner and I just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm too. I'm such a key member, and I need to sleep. So Aneski, you're gonna be okay. known as Aneski the Executioner yes. because you gotta kill these. <laughs> you gotta the kill these Simsarin. Uh, actually, I think uh, what's his face? Uh, what is uh, Chris Babel? Chris Babel, the great named uh, little gnome. Yep. Very small gnome. He is the one who's making the uh, illusion above. He's like, oh, you need to sleep? And he just snaps his fingers and then boom, you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient. I don't resist if it's going to help me sleep. <laughs> no. no. Or do you just... Oh, no, you can't dip your, your head into nope. the bag of Sweet Dream because you can't breathe. I'm immune. I can't <laughs> breathe it. I can't even knock myself out. Okay. So, uh, so you're dealing with the two adventurers first? We're dealing with the so... Samsarin pairs. With the... All right. Oh, we have to... Don't we have to do that first with the uh, summoning circle? Oh, sorry. Yeah, to get the want... people sorry, out of right. hell first. We get them out of hell we'll first We'll deal with the, we um, the adventurers and just talk to them while you're asleep. We'll have uh, right. that big furnace man uh, next to us. Get... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kiln will yeah. be good for intimidation. Just silently looming there with the slow <laughs> rumble of of burnt and the smell of brimstone. It just said the rumble of burnt. It's that's a thing. Not, it's magic. Don't worry about anything. it. Don't worry about it. It's so magical that grammar doesn't even work. All right. Uh, yeah, you get them. Uh, yeah, you wake just them slap them, up, them I guess. or heal them or whatever. That would be a start. Yeah, all right. Uh I think Vanessa comes to you first, the barbarian with the fists. They say, "Shit, you we sure lost, did. didn't we?" <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think you're a better bird lady than you our have a bird lady. lady. We have a bird, the bird, a drunk old bird lady on the guy. Roof. All she did was fly okay, us up there. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. I thought that was a... how many bird people do you have? Okay, that's Just fine. Just the one. <laughs> I didn't fight her, <laughs> but I saw alcohol, and I was curious, but we were in a hurry. Oh, you're also in Prometheus. <laughs> welcome. Well, uh, welcome honestly, to our giant so, yeah. home. You should, you know, Apocalypse, you should probably help us out here. Help you out? Okay. You're, you are Endless Legacy, right? Well, you're yeah, but we're also that... like the people who brought this city back to life. So, yeah, I mean, they look to the giant kiln and they're like, I mean, okay, fine, but just, okay, we'll, we'll defend the city as long as you keep Yuzhu the hell away. Oh, yeah, she's, she's back in, uh, what the fuck's the name of the main city? God damn it. The, oh, okay. I thought I forgot, but it's no, it's, it's just the capital. The, the, mo the monarchy. No. She's back in the capital. Don't yeah. worry about it. She's also sorry. And there's also a lot of people without eyes. <laughs> that sounds I don't know like... if there's a lot of people. There was like at least 10 guards <laughs> plus like the main guy. It's like the two and herself, I guess. Oh, wait, it ripped her, her eyes up uh, too? Well, she is she is blind and she does oh, have a yeah, sword. So you would <laughs> that's so. right. No, I never thought of that. Yeah. Uh, I have the intelligent item <laughs> eye ripper. <laughs> uh, you, you joke, but no, it's it's not the eye ripper. It's the eye biter. Thanks. It's uh, uh... we we she was on our team before the the bird. She was on our team, and she had that sword, and we were like, "Hey, that's a cursed ass sword. Honest... Don't take that." And Honestly? she was like, "No." And yeah. guess what? Guess how much she liked that sword. At one point. We were all, you know how adventurers sometimes they have like one person hanging to a ledge and two people hanging below? You know how that <laughs> happens often in adventuring? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was happening and her sword was rolling by and it nearly fell off the cliff. So she dropped oh. us. We both fell to our death so she could take that fucking sword. 
she revived us afterwards and thought it was like all cool. No, she's a fucking huh. monster. I'll keep that in mind. That's, That's actually kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think we're acting yeah. as a refuge. Oh. So uh, everything's kind of shit out there. I don't know. If, yeah. yeah, you don't know. But we'll do like a mind share session. They... Okay. <laughs> Bring out the mind share thing. <laughs> Plot yeah. To avoid plenty. doing all of that. Oh yeah, that's bad. Oh yeah, that's bad plot. Ooh, jeez. So we we could probably pay you, so to be honest. Okay. All right, all right. All of our stuff is yeah. missing. I noticed. I don't know what happened about that. That memory skipped for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh dang. We'll get you some new stuff. Well, uh, just ask the the forge guys over there by the forge. Like the actual forge, not the soul forge. Those are two different things. Don't go I mean, in the soul forge. Nothing bad will happen. It's just weird. Unless you don't have a soul. And then maybe you should go in there. You, you know what? Why don't you go in just to double check? You never know. Okay. But I, okay. When that's just like... After a, mo a while of you explaining and trying to... Just going back and forth on her own sentences. All that she's like... You know... I just use punches anyways. Yeah, it's probably... It's they're okay. just plants, right? Oh, oh I, I've had... Yeah, I've restarted with nothing before. Because of the aforementioned falling down a pit. Because of <laughs> fucking view shoot. I, I can't help but feel like this person's gonna have an increasingly negative view of our adventure. <laughs> 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 but I'm asleep, so I can't say anything. Okay. Let's wake up uh, Godfrey, then. All right. Okay. Godfrey wakes up. He's like... Wait, did I lose? You, you, I yeah. lost? And a lot of people have seen that today. Not me, though. bitch. <laughs> 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 And she's just leaning on her yeah, bow no, at this, like, you'll... watching him as he gets up off the ground. <laughs> I guess you get that. Okay. Um, You're Prometheus. Let's do a mind share to speed this the fuck up. <laughs> he wakes up and he's like, oh, man, that's bad blood. <laughs> oh, no. I should be in the monarchy saving well, people Well, you can right be now. here saving people, too. Up to you. I. I gotta get back to the monarchy because that's my sworn duty is to protect oh, well, the monarch at least now you know we're not evil uh, they... we're trying yeah also dead in 10 oh, yeah, but <laughs> you should oh, go yeah. back well new monarch then I guess we'll figure out who's the new monarch then they'll probably also die in 10 days because there's a maybe lot you of shouldn't assign on a right new now. one for a little while yeah. or something that's regency yeah. council personal union with Prometheus union. we get it <laughs> Let's not do royal marriage and dynasty. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Godfrey's just like nodding along, thinking of what the hell to do next. Uh, but he's going back to the capital as Good best luck. he can. All right. Th thanks. Where's my? I had a purple knight. It was cool. I was <laughs> away trying to find it. Oh, you, you, we didn't. We don't have it. The purple knife. No, you can't. You didn't pick it up. Oh, it's somewhere in the monarchy, and I'll <laughs> never know where. So I think that's all uh, the. All right, those all two three. are. Yep, those three awesome. are no longer in your bag. Pro Congratulations. Prometheus <laughs> is stronger <laughs> now. Plus two. Plus two. I can put him back up in the very top. Oh no, I copied. Him. Oh, we're oh, not on that screen with you, but that's fine. Two in the monarchy. No, we're on the oh, map. We're not shit. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I, I just love the idea with Godfrey that I just like I wake up and like wait a moment, I cast mount. Here <laughs> you go. <laughs> uh, hey, take your high horse and <laughs> fuck off. It's okay. I will take. Don't worry. It will last twenty hours. That's a long horse. All right. What the? Uh, I guess I can check out. <laughs> That's a pretty good horse. Actually, I could actually God make damn. Last with that extend, extend spell. Mm -hmm. Can the horse run that long, though? Does it tire? 
don't. It's I a don't magical know. horse. <laughs> Mag- yeah, magic right. is fucking fine. here, okay? Horse is good one, it's one good one. Uh, all right. With that, I think that's all your business directly here. Uh, you should probably get permission to use the finger of mind oh, yeah. and soul as well. Oh, uh, yeah. We can um, wait for Vomar to wake up for those negotiations. Yes. He's he's a yeah, wizard. Probably. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay, are we waiting? In uh, it's up to, or... You're the... Oh, no, no, I wake up. <laughs> you're the DM. The timer's on you. I, I just didn't know if you guys were going to do anything. Other more. than defending? I don't think okay. so. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, between the, the range characters, you're pretty good for for defending. I don't think there's too much to do here yet, but it's it's getting worse with every passing, well, not minute, but every you know, hour, it's probably. getting worse. Yeah. Like a little noticeable increase in the size of the enemies and how common they are. Uh, but that, Vomar, you're awake. Okay. I get awake, I cast uh, I guess I have two teleports. Mm-hmm. We teleport to the inn up there. All right. I don't think you've been there, but fuck it. It's okay. You can I'll see it. I'll roll a here. D100. Oh, if I can see it, then there's probably not a mischance. Yeah, you're good. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Time to right some wrongs and uh, I guess do other things. Are you ready to become an executioner? I turn towards and ask you. I, uh, or do I need to do it? I take out a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. Okay, okay, good. Let's go. I think. So you find your your inn at the top of this mountain. It's the same one I described in the one shot so many hmm. months ago. Uh, there is a a room off to the side. It's got two summoning circles. The anvil between it is missing because some sort of blacksmith orc <laughs> took it. Uh. <laughs> Uh, there are is... no the chests of curse items are also gone because the angels and demons came here to retrieve their friends. Uh, with these circles, though, you're able to summon whoever you need to. You just sort of, uh, I guess, you find you look them up in a table in the uh, filing cabinet that you saw. Uh, mm-hmm. Amongst all the other names of Samsara, it's the their original identities which help you summon them. Uh, and so I do get, I think there's a level one spell that allows me to just, for one round per level, so I can read ten books, just, like, one around by touching it, and it's not a super detailed read, but it's, like, a good understanding. Yeah, so you can read through and look for the name Pandora and see what, uh, original person it's tied to, and then find their Samsar, or their Shabti from there. And they, they appear confused and, like... Uh, very much how an Eski would have appeared the first time that happened. So I don't know if you have a image in your head of that. But... Like the Terminator. Mm. <laughs> Dazed, <and> confused, <laughs> electrocuted. And you also came through with some some devils. So it was a bit different for you than it is for this. But okay. you're, uh... that's effectively all that's happening. You're just summoning them. They're coming out days. Are you? putting them to sleep immediately are you talking to we, we might be just putting them to sleep and be like welcome back it is your turn on the surface <laughs> world <laughs> okay <laughs> welcome to the apocalypse it's better than hell <laughs> so far i mean i think to... that's the least it's like yes you were in hell you were being tortured for eternity but there was some consistency uh it's going to uh, be a bit of uh, changing times yeah because like Xena, the new one senny the orc uh she just she was just saying basically hey hell might be better than what's going on over here so i'm <laughs> gonna try that out <laughs> meanwhile you're taking these people back like hey it's better than hell I guess the difference being one's a guest and the other is... One's a guest and the other is a prisoner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, right, you know what? I that. think we're just going to have the summoning circle room gassed. All right. <laughs> and so they uh, get summoned. They fall asleep. We do the business. And since they're asleep, we'll, we'll, we'll have them wake in from... Wait, I thought we were going to kill right. both uh, the gonna... set so that they'd become one soul. Uh Basically, the the 
what's it called? The uh, finger of mine and soul can take the, the two ah, souls okay, and okay. turn them back into one and then Sorry, kill them and they go to one afterlife. Ah. Yeah. Oh, it's been a while. Uh, let's see. So I guess we're summoning and then stuffing <laughs> them into the bag so I can teleport back to the... Uh... Are you summoning just the ones that match the people you have or are you summoning uh, like important names as well? Because you could summon Sabrina's Shafti and see if they have any answers or not. But that is up to you. Hey, we could always come uh, about... you don't know where we could always are. come back. I'm yeah, we're sure. gonna do the ones we have the bag for. Yes, so I'm right. trying to I'm while I'm trying to do justice, I'm also trying <laughs> to clear up my bag. <laughs> this is inventory management, the uh apocalypse <laughs> edition. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You have retrieved the, the Samsaran for the three uh or the chapter for the three Samsaran you have. Hooray. Uh, congratulations. We did it. And then I guess one teleport back or overland flight or what? Uh, probably a teleport back because it's still still faster for me to teleport <laughs> than it is for me to overland flight it. Oh, God. Unle this actually, you know crazy. what? I might overland flight just so that Frosty can have a description of what's going on below. Oh, yeah. I love descriptions of things going on <laughs> below. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, I mean, I kind of already described it with the, the stuff that's like the uh, the greenhouse is all destroyed. The one lone temple above that is got like soul arrows flying off from it. You know, that sort of stuff. Um, but as you're flying, because you were on the mountaintop, you get sort of a view of what's going on in the other directions. Uh, you see the uh, okay, yeah, I'll do this now. You see the monarchy start to sink oh. into the ground. That the capital start to sink into the ground. Uh, like just gradually it's not like it's falling down or anything it is just sinking into the ground and the, the area above it is slowly beginning to, to cover it as it just becomes part of the underground well, I guess Godfrey will join us eventually when he realizes what's going on <laughs> or he'll end up in Brightholm because that's on the way and it's also a major city who knows so yeah. so should cities in this particular celestial planar circumstance be sinking? Is it trying to get to the other side? Is uh, it burrowing through the Underdark? As far as you can tell, uh, if you had to hazard a guess, this is the work of some deeply magic bullshit, but it's probably the work of the city itself. Like, ah, this is the it's monarch, probably trying like, to like, move well. slightly underground so it doesn't have plants raining on it. Exactly. What a city. Because uh, at some point, it, yeah, yeah, you you take all that work to save it, and then like, you know, eight hours later, it's found its own solution <laughs> and running away. Stupid, ungrateful city. Uh, all right. Uh, you're back at Prometheus. And you have your prisoners. Okay. Get the finger ready. And I guess you're going to the Soul Forge. We're going to the Soul Forge, I say... I have some business with a finger. It's going to stay in the forge. Yes, but... Uh... Uh, Tom said, okay. Well, so... Tom's currently down down in... Uh... Nope, Tom was uh, up here. It's uh, Wade, the brother, and Aegis, and Loam. Yeah. Uh, Loam, yeah, true. Tom. So I say, okay, Tom. <laughs> oh, I just realized those, those rhyme, yeah. Okay, Tom. so I say, okay, Tom. Uh, we, hello, I hope you're doing well. An apocalypse doing. is happening. We tried to save a city. We did. Uh, I'm glad yours is okay. And now that we have that out of the way, uh, we, uh, we do believe this was caused by a finger of creation. And we need to inspect the current one. You're going to lie about why you're going in the room? No, I'm I'm saying we we need to inspect it to make sure it's there. So and then and uh, then I'm going to say we also have a bunch of Shapti who uh who have been unjustly imprisoned in hell. We have their Samsaran counterparts who have avoided, you know, hell for what they did. And we're planning on using the presence of the finger to 
merge them, and then send them on to their proper afterlives. Yeah. Tome takes in all of that very quickly and thinks I for know, half can. a second and says, uh, Please. The Soul Forge <laughs> was not... <laughs> yeah, just like... <laughs> good idea. This is why you're my star in the I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> How come no one says that in my campaign? Dang it, I need more happy and good interactions like that. Uh, but this is not one of those. Tome says, This is not the Soul Forge's purpose. If you wanted to use it for something else, I would have to study a bit on what you're trying to do. Uh, okay. If, Here? If what you're saying is. <laughs> Don't worry. I say, if you allow me, I will show you the memory in which this works. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm memory. going to show her effectively me explaining the theory of how we actually do this to the others. Okay. <laughs> uh, you got good theory. Uh, it's very magic-based and makes some assumptions on how the finger works. It's uh, Tome points you to some some of the books of the scientists who made the soul forge work and tries to explain that the soul or the finger of creation is not something that that simply works immediately you need to give it time to understand your wishes and it will do its best to fulfill them uh i will be happy to take that time for you and so that i can make sure this is done right sure <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a place for me to put the prisoners, then? Of They're course. currently all drugged with sweet drink. Completely natural, <laughs> non-addictive, slightly habit-forming. <laughs> uh, uh, to Tome shares a laugh with you about, you know, all these fragile air breathers. And then, uh, like, agrees to keep them in a, a room not too far from the, the Soul Forge, but not, like... In, uh, waking Make up sure they don't kill each other. Time. Yeah. They might have natural predisposition. Shabdi, one room. You might have to, uh, when they wake up in roughly, judging by the dosage, uh, 24 hours, they might have to be explained that they're no longer in hell. Uh, I tried to tell them, but they all fell asleep mid explanation. Uh, <laughs> for the others, uh, they will. They should be kept asleep. They are bad people who uh, are. Uh, they're bad people. I just shrug. As far as you know, they might all be bad people, but it's like one is the victim here. That's the only real. <laughs> one is victim. One is perpetrator. Uh, uh, but the perpetrators are... were trying to rip all the memories from the victims. Yeah, and take uh, them themselves. All right. That, I think that works. Uh, symphony, or, or you hear the, the sound of Symphony's song, and suddenly, like, a uh, room is built into the, the area next to them. The bricks all rearrange, making like a conveyor belt and pushing them in, and uh, bindings nice. appear on them. The door is just shut. And symphony gives a little wave. I, I give a hearty wave back. You're, my, you're one of my favorite Soul Forged. <laughs> They, they're happy about that. Uh, they, they, I think they still, uh, I know, like, my Sorry, I, I would actually that. say, because of Symphony, you're one of my favorite dwarves. <laughs> I like that. I know I said originally they couldn't quite figure out English, like, talking at normal speed. Mm -hmm. My better explanation now is that they just prefer writing to talking, and so they, they write down, like, uh, more narrate, or they narrate again on the walls, you know. The, the strange, or Bomar gave the, the lone dwarf a very nice comp compliment. I turned and, to uh, the party. Okay. If we're going anywhere else, I need to sleep. Have a good <laughs> night, Bomar! <laughs> God, I wish I could take some no. uh, just I just, I say, where are we going next so I can prepare my <laughs> Probably prepare have my at spells, least two. Huh? Uh, probably Broken Chain, Yeah, I assume. 
Or Probably broken chain to see if uh, my my dear home city is currently exploding. <laughs> it's probably fine. I mean, we defended, we built it with great defenses in mind, but those were defenses mostly going up. Not so much from, like, I don't know, heaven being shoved up our ass. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it is very weird. I do hope the Vanta farms are okay. Uh... All right. Uh, you can take your rest. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. The, there was a person just standing around being like, man, we're <laughs> like fragile. I'm like, fuck you. I'm doing so much work. <laughs> just nap and nap. And... God, the ring of sustenance is so fucking yep. important for wizards. <laughs> like, wow. Uh, yeah. And mine's a tattoo. Oh, yeah. So I don't even have it. Uh, they can't cut off my my finger and stop me having it. They have to skin me, which you know, they mm, could, but they could. That, yeah, that that's usually a bit too much. Also, I I task the two of you with finding scrolls. Oh yeah, we can free, we can shop around or other oh, yeah. stuff. Woo, well, I sleep. See if they right. uh, will give us a good deal on it. Okay. Uh, I think everything's still gonna be. The, oh no, done something wrong with the. I just killed Pandora. Design. Okay, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I just killed Pandora. Well, I mean, you just killed Pandora, technically. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh well, not yet. But soon. No insight. Soon, yeah. Uh, no, Elpis is still alive. Rolo, Rolo's gonna go. Ben's gonna go. Uh, Beretta and Bishop. Uh, poor Bishop. I like this voice. I like doing lines for Bishop. Bye bye, Bishop. <laughs> Maybe I'll, maybe I'll think of some plot contrivance to keep you around, Bishop. Uh, he could come back as kind of an angry ghost. Hey, fucker. <laughs> what afterlife are you supposed to send me to? Anywhere but here. Yeah, we're checking off all these boxes. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got them all checked off. Good. Uh, with that... All right, so you want to go to Broken Chain, and that's mostly to talk with people. What do you want to do after that? <laughs> okay, so big shit is going down. Well, uh, the, you also well, might the want to read room... those fucking books already. Yeah. So because like short to you three sessions ago, and no one said I take half an hour to read. Short them. term, we can read the books, uh, and I guess do a do the reincarnations that we have to do. Mm -hmm. The cyclic reincarnations, yeah. But after that, right. I don't know. Uh, so, could you go to the world? Go to the world map, because uh, the uh, the big ass dragons like far above our pay grade, right? Now. Yeah, big ass dragons. Uh, we're not on the world map. Oh god, that's bad. we are not. We are you not gotta on remember. The world map. I just realized under my uh, my person it says my hedgehog is smarter <laughs> than me. Your hedgehog like is currently, I think, eight intelligence, and you are seven. Oh. <laughs> but I don't think the hedgehog's name is Phil. Last night, so they went over so. there. They went over there. Uh, oh, oh you know what? Perish. I think we probably need to go kill a godshade. I don't know if you can just hmm. do that. <laughs> I think we would actually have to like. Do some I don't, you can't just tank, face tank it. Come on. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I establish the scale it's of this big. tree. Uh, this is not. <laughs> yeah, it's big. Like it it's is like the not, size of a city. No matter how much damage you can do in a round, uh, I think the scale worked out to be it could okay. pick up a city. Like nice. no matter how much damage you do in your current state, like its fortitude save is you know. Five thousand and it's attack. Yeah, yeah, effectively, yeah. It's it. It's just unkillable. We need to at poison scale. it. <laughs> so, just go into its heart and and fight the the keystone box. Actually, wait, can't you fabricate just, green slime? Couldn't like, you just fabricate or create? I can fabricate. Uh, uh this would have to be on an industrial yeah. scale. We could melt through, <laughs> which I currently <laughs> eventually. And that's presuming the Godshade didn't do something to stop Fair. me from doing that. Yeah, the Godshade's also deeply magical, so I don't know if you can just 
<laughs> you know. I'm just kind of, I'm Slime just workshopping. Slime I'm just workshopping. Down, 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 down. Uh, I would actually suggest maybe we either look for Aneski's other one, or we go to Huklu, which mm-hmm. is that Yadath Tower that goes into the core of the Earth. Oh, whoa, Hannah Creation. Yep. Uh, Xena's Diary. Uh, so the bottom is where it's supposed to start, but the order goes different. Uh, you finally read this thing. Uh, mm. Or rather, I should say Nesky reads it, because it's very clearly, immediately, like, gonna blow up if it's <laughs> not a Nesky reading it, or not Xena reading it. <laughs> uh, it says, if you're reading this and aren't exploding into an inferno, you're me. The first thing you need to know about being me is that it isn't about me. Xena is not a person, it's a mission. Uh, this, this world lives in a cycle. It builds up, and then it ends. To survive it, we need power. In my youth, I held that power, and I sold it like a fool. Everything I do, I do to fix that mistake. To save this world, there will be sacrifices. Steal yourself. Collect the hand, save us all. I don't know how much time we have. Maybe we need to get the hand of creation to fix all this. Uh, no. I don't know. It's just a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> you can read through the the five fingers. All have different levels of information on them. If you like, zoom yeah, in on that I'm picture, scanning through it. Uh, from what Xena actually knew about them. Uh, so we need to locate each. I mean, if that's what everybody wants to do, is locate each finger and put it all together and be like, "Get fucked, tree." Or whatever we decide to do with it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you would want to, like, there is the, I want to have the fucking Infinity Gauntlet options, no spoilers, no spoilers. by the way, uh, where you just get all of them. There is the, like, the thumb of Vine and Leaf, uh, as Omar saw in his memory, uh, was able to single-handedly take down the Godshade. Uh, and presumably the other four would be able to have similar feats, but because they're not quite dealing with their own uh, speciality in finding a god shade, then they're not. Mm. You might need more of them. But together, maybe we can stop this cycle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, breaking the cycle, <laughs> killing some Sarans. It seems like that's what we do. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so let me let me look at this hand of creation. Now, this doesn't... I mean, one looks like the fo- finger form of matter is probably in the monarchy. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a couple in the Underdark. Uh, one yes. is in the Drow place. I mean, people aren't going to just hand these over. No. no. Well, I mean, well, we, one of them, we, you know the location. We kind of own one of them. Sold the but, kinda. Yeah. Uh, you know the monarchy owns the finger form of matter. Uh, flesh and bone, you know, uh, Zip kind of knows about that, seeing as she drank from the Fountain of Youth, which is this hmm. relic. Uh, so really, it's Vine and Leaf and Force and Energy that are completely mysterious, or have the, the most uh, room where they could be. But if you wanted to start, the, well, those are it's not the in the Elven lands, the Vine and Leaf one, most likely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I what it seems like we need mm. is information. Yeah. Instead of just going up to like the giants of the north and be like, "Hey, man." Oh wait, we already have the mind soul one. Not going to <laughs> yeah. like a drow sovereign and be like, "Hey, do you have a city that's currently fucked with time?" Yeah, I want it. The first thing I think we need to do is get you your yeah. wings back. Yeah. And well, yeah, you can deal with that right now, I think. And to probably for me to start making some goddamn gauntlets. <laughs> but each gauntlet is two days. And it technically it's two days of four hours working. So 
Uh, probably spend your four hours today. Uh, like you could, you, there's still four hours. Oh, wait, uh, it's only four hours if I have my familiar. So we need to grab the familiar. Yeah. So we need to grab my familiar. We could go. Would we be It'll able to get good information minutes. on various things in Broken Chain? I think we might be able to, and I think if we're actually looking for information on, uh. <sighs> So, Frosty, mm -hmm. in universe, mm -hmm. what would I, what would my care, what would my character know about, uh, like any? Would my character know where to start looking for these? Uh, so I think the one you would know best would be because the finger force and energy was last seen with Drow. Then it's mm -hmm. probably with Drow. Uh, it could be being like hidden and only used for certain things, or it could have a very broad effect, just somewhere that's remote. Uh, if you know, roll knowledge locally, you could guess remote drow areas, or the op other option is uh, based on like more information based on an Eski's memory. If you had that and could compare it to a database, like a, a drow library, then you might have a better chance of finding the exact royal family that that had this thing. Okay. Uh, then follow the trail from there. Ooh. What does a 36 give Nailing me a start? Damn, okay, that's a good start. Let me go. Finger up fours. Uh, okay. That, that's a nice time yeah. to roll a 20. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as far as you know, in the history of any major drow civilization, like there have been plenty of wars and reasons to use magic shit like this, and no one mm -hmm. has. Uh, there's two places you would know that that would be remote enough to have something like this and not use it. And that would be A, the Maw of Madness, and B, the Cradle of Salt. Okay. I see the Maw of Madness. What is the Cradle of... Under the Ocean. Ah, Salt. Okay. So, either at a center at the bottom of a vortex, or... Uh, in a place called the Maw of Madness. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure artifacts of this power probably have def protection spells for me just being like, hey, divination, <laughs> is it in the Maw of Madness? Uh, probably, yes. No, but you also know from that record that a, like, a mage made something that could find them. You don't know the exact process behind that, but you so know that it's something along those lines. So, so Sabrina did that, eh? Yeah, that is correct. I think it's time for us to find Sabrina. Hey, mm -hmm. because if uh, she made one to find one finger, she might be tell us the secret of making them to find yeah. them more fingers. All right. Uh, I also gave you the Sam Sam filing cabinet, which has yeah. the list of the main three from the old group. Uh, or Xena's old group. And they might know something. And one of those. Yeah. So one of them is like Sabrina's entry. Uh, previous incarnation was a human, born 1950, Red Race Society. Uh, worked on the surface on a project to uh, reset the Shabdi. No further information on that is given here. Uh, killed by her own summoning in 2014. <laughs> Current incarnation she... would be five years old, not yet identified. Hmm. If she was working on the surface, then it's probably not in the ocean. Although she might not have been working on the finger. Uh, yeah. I don't think she was working on the finger. Mm. Five-year-olds are not that <laughs> useful. But! But you don't know how much her, her summoned half would know. And that might be useful. It might be time for us to uh, summon her shop tea. All right. Oh, God. Another trip to the mountain? Can you just make one here already? <laughs> uh, just a. That's kind of what the planar elevator was for in the monarchy capital. Is just like people getting <laughs> tired of that shit. So they, on their flat land, they made a giant thing. Uh, I think you can make a, a half decent summoning circle here. Okay. So. Uh. I make the, effectively because we kind of need some information before we go off, and so Frosty mm -hmm. can actually prepare the maps. Mm -hmm. So I do the summon. Uh, right. 
they if they're willing it they there's no save needed if they aren't they have to make a will save okay they're willing they're out of hell they're like yeah I'm out hello of hell. hello what Hi so there. i assume this is like uh, uh at this uh i guess she's still the same age she was when she was cloned from the original soul so she's mm -hmm. like maybe a a 45 year old human like a Oh, and uh, I guess Neski is in the accent of the collector Shabti. <laughs> so, <laughs> hello, uh, my name is Vomar. You might recognize this Shabti over here. I hey, hi there. How are you doing today? Is it? Do you go by Xena? I don't know if ever. I don't. I've heard. I've summoned a few. I remember a few summoned uh, Shabti, not going by that name. Aneski. Aneski. Okay, I like that. I I dig it. That's a good name. Uh, how, how's ever? How what? How can I help you? Well, you see, uh, currently the world is undergoing a slight apocalypse. Oh yeah. She's like looking up at the stars, like ah, as some of them are just like in some places you can see stars, in some places it's just weird black voids because it's <laughs> night now. She's just like, ah. Yeah, so, I, think, I think I heard Xena talk about that before. We are trying to... Uh, we are trying to find the, the hand of creation so we can stop a point towards a black void in the sky. Oh, hell yeah. That's a good idea. That's, that's what Xena was saying, too. Uh, you have so much in common. Uh, let's... Uh, so you're trying to find it? Yes. Find it, and... Find uh, it. Uh, there is a method that uh, other you, Samsarin you, had to track down at least one of the fingers. Okay, yes. Uh, she's trying to remember. She's trying to remember. It's like, yes, okay, I got, I know this one. I know this one, okay. Uh, I need a sign from those fingers. So, some, uh, something that has been affected by them, basically. Like, uh, I literally to go to the nearest soul <laughs> forge. <laughs> well, you've, uh, like, it's it's a one per thing. Like, okay, we wanted to find the, the, oh. the thumb of vine and leaf, so we found a Goran and we just sort of stuck him in a room and we did, did a couple spells, and then boom, I knew exactly oh. where I was. It was great. Well, not exactly, but you know, close. Oh, uh, we wanted to find the the finger of whatchamacallit, uh, uh, power and just. Energy. Uh, so we took. Uh, oh shit! This, uh, do you know where the? There was a little bag I had in my old lab. Uh, it was a. It was a. It, had, it was a bag. It had a baby in it. It had a baby that it twitched and stuttered and, and it was weird. But. Uh, trying to I think. Let, did we? If you left it around. No. I don't remember. No, you don't know where her lab is. But. She's talking about. Uh, She's describing this thing. It's like, okay, it was a little baby. It was a little baby human. Uh, it would, uh, if you left, if you closed the bag, it would suffocate and it would turn into a baby again. But if you left it alive for too long, it would start to grow and start to have thoughts and questions and be like, "Hey, this seems really fucked up." And I, I, I just kept it in the bag because of that. But yeah, I used that to find the finger of, of space or huh. uh, power and energy. Yeah. Do you still know where that one is? I don't exactly. Because we, we saw it, like, 10 years after, and then we saw it, like, 20 years after, and it was moving, so I think it's still moving. Or it moved after that. Well, we could go for the mm. vine and leaf one if we can figure out how to locate it, and then get the others afterwards. Yeah. Well, uh, we can do so once we resurrect our zombified Gorn friend. Yeah, that's for... Oh, you have a Gorn friend? One of the cool. few... Oh, you also like resurrecting people? Cool. Uh, we're, uh, it's cyclic reincarnation. It's effectively... Uh, I kind of just shrug. Like, yeah, <laughs> we are kind of trying to resurrect people. Just shrug. Unfinished thoughts. It's perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, Can you yeah. tell me what spells you used? Uh... She thinks on that, and she says, eh, it'd be easier for me to just do it. Uh, Meta-wise, she doesn't want to be <laughs> discovered back into hell. 
Understandably, I think. Well, uh, just to let you know, you currently have, from this binding circle, uh, 10 days in the material plane. Dang, that's not very many at all. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, my I have limited access to planar calling things. All right, well, if she looks up at the sky, she says, okay, well, if you want to summon me again after 10 days, you're going to have to do it from underground, I think, because that's... The sky ain't going to be a, a good way to find me anymore. Is it just going to be a giant sphere of Vantastone? That's the plan. Not the plan. <laughs> that's the prediction. That's a different <laughs> implication. Does that mean that... Uh, s- <laughs> okay, so uh, we we get the dead gore. <laughs> mm-hmm. I pull out the zombified gore and and the zombie garden is just taking it. It was affected by the thumb of vine and leaf. Mm-hmm. Please cast that on. Uh, cast nah, your spells. This is going to take a, a while, but yeah. How long's a while? Well, no, like hours or days. It's magic, okay. Okay, well, first I need to take a good long rest, all right? Then I got to get in the right headspace. And then I so got to cast the spell, which I only remember about half of right now, so I got to fit- re derive the rest. And then... Okay, we'll be back in a day. <laughs> okay. Am I, where... Actually, I'm going to bring you to Prometheus so some you can have some place to actually rest. Hey, I like this. Be supervised. <laughs> All right. Prometheus. Oh, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, shoot. Like looking at all the soul forge, like, ooh, what are you? Hello, what's this? Oh my goodness, wonderful. Like, I uh, do not tell her about the finger <laughs> in the forge. Okay. Fair uh, enough. Uh, so, well, effectively, well, she has a day to do this. Let's go to Broken Chain. <laughs> then right. I can kill myself. So okay. <laughs> 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 I could chop off your I, head if a... that helps. Well, that's like the, that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, <laughs> so, <de> so <laughs> turn your weapon into something that does a four times multiplier coup. So I imagine uh, Nari's just like, "All right, I'm ready." And Aneski get really gets like ready and like swings, and then Nari instinctually dodges and keeps accidentally dodging a few times <laughs> until she finally nicks her. <laughs> 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 oh, that Stop sounds dodging. like it's gonna end up in a really like ugly cut, though. Like, <laughs> like it just takes a little it bit prob- too well, long to be a. She's not doing problem. it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry, I will do a eulogy as I cast the secret reincarnation. <laughs> Pour one out for me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, your eulogy? Okay, never mind, don't worry about it. I finally <laughs> died in a campaign. <laughs> oh no. Nari's gone. Rest in power. Nari. And then Vomar just does Oh no. Yeah, that laughed. fucking <laughs> drunk bird. <laughs> come, my... come back with a non third party oh, no. build, bitch. <laughs> 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 this was my plan all along. <laughs> okay, so uh, you want to be a drunken sense of master right. summoner, right? <laughs> Frosty got his wish for the worst <laughs> possible way. Oh no. <laughs> like one of those malicious genies. Uh okay, so does Nari come back as like a young adult? <laughs> oh yeah, we get to roll a uh, Whether you're young or normal, that's fine. If it's under twenty-five, and it's young. I believe that is the ruling on that. So wait, what do I actually want? Uh, you want to ring? Okay, let me incarnation. Cyclic reincarnation. Oh, it's okay. Seventy-five uh, percent chance you return to life as youth. So, uh, under seventy-five is young. You want to get over 75. And if not, it's not that big a deal. Because you know people who can age you. <laughs> let's, let's see if this 
fun ha thing happens. Oh boy. Hey. Oh, you're good. Hey. Ooh. You come back full awesome. size. <laughs> Hooray. Come back. How, if this is like Teenage Rebellion phase, uh, Nari, or what's, what's Young Nari like? <laughs> well, I didn't get to do. I thought I was going to be dead, or not dead, um, older. But her feathers were all really grayed and dulled, but now they're really vibrant, like lots of colors, greens oh, okay, and reds yeah. and uh, oranges and that kind of stuff. She looks very tropical for a bird. All right, yeah, like kind of yeah. Toucan. Without the Pardon without the him. giant fucking beak. Oh. I mean, she still has a beak, but... No, I'm sorry, I'm imagining you oh, as perfect. Toucan Sam right That's now. That's who I reincarnated oh, as, Toucan Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also small size now. Uh, so. No, uh, well, if I'm Toucan be. Sam, then I am small size. Oh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I think Toucan Sam, like, tiny? I don't know. Was that a horrifying I'm pretty sure he's the size of a cat. Like, like, human size? Around that size. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm looking at a picture of Toucan Sam next to to Brian from Family Guy, and they seem to be about the same size. So yeah, small. Oh my god! <laughs> Thanks, Google Images. Very scientific. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that's all for this session. Yeah. So, yes. It's ten. Yep. And so mm. effectively, wherever the the summoned Shabdi <laughs> says we can, we should try. We will try. All right. So I guess That's we're good. going for the Vime one smart. first. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. And then we can't do next weekend. Is that correct? Yes, I'm out oh. of country. All right. We will do. I stream. So we. No. Nope. No. Nope. I'm out of country. Well. I stream. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs>